Hello. Hello. <laughs> yes, have some grog. I've got some grog. I've got some hobgoblin. It's a Friday night. And uh, I figured I'd do a chill stream. I should do a chill stream with a glass. Probably. If I want to drink my grog. They're making a descent into Infernal on Neverwinter. Oh, really? Oh, that's very interesting. Um, I'll admit, uh, I understood why they did Baldur's Gate, um, but when I realized that half of Descent into Avernus was a Baldur's Gate source book, I was a little sad that they hadn't done it for Neverwinter. But I guess they kind of did it with Sword Coast Adventurer's Guide, and Neverwinter itself has been, like, keeping Neverwinter's canon updated, so, you know. You know, it's okay. It's okay. I was just a little disappointed. But that's really interesting. Um, one of these days, I've got to get into Neverwinter. Um, uh, uh, like, uh, I think part of the reason I didn't was because, uh, this is such a single player experience for me. Like, I know one of the best things about Neverwinter Nights originally was the multiplayer worlds, but for me, the best thing about this game was the single player. <laughs> um, did you, did you run Avernus yet? No. I I've read it, um, but if I do run it... I will be making changes, I think. Um, it's good, but it reminds me of... It reminds me of Horde of the Under... Oh, sorry, not Horde of the Under... Oh, that's this game. It reminds me of Horde of the Dragon Queen and um, Rise of Tiamat. And I really loved running Horde of the Dragon Queen, but I had to do a lot of work for it. Um... It needed a lot of fleshing out, and th this one, with the players I normally have, I, I don't think most people I run for wouldn't be content to go down the... It's a very pretty railroad, but I don't think they'd be content to go down the railroad. <laughs> um, hello, Drake Blackbeard, how you doing? Um, it's such a good game. This is, um, this game, this, uh, not, not, not necessarily the Enhanced Edition. I haven't actually played the Enhanced Edition, um, but certainly the Diamond and Platinum Edition of this game um, is, if it's not my favorite computer game ever, it is, at least in my rosy-tinted <laughs> childhood nostalgia goggle memory, one of my favorite role-playing games on a computer ever. And it is... Still, uh, along with Neverwinter 2, it is still the closest I've seen a computer game get to mimicking the tabletop experience, aside from uh, Kingmaker recently. Uh, Pathfinder Kingmaker recently did a very good job of, of sort of uh, evoking the Pathfinder tabletop experience. I'm really excited for Wrath of the Righteous. And eventually, if they do a multiplayer version of it with a grid and turns, I will throw so much money at them. But but this is this is still, I think, the closest um, to the tabletop experience that I've... Or at least the, the experience of playing a character in the tabletop that I've, I've seen on a computer. Um, using the story of El Torel is a much better start to the game. Yes. That... 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 That definitely... For Descent into Avernus, I definitely got that impression, Ash. Um, I've only read through it once, but it feels like one of the main problems with Descent into Avernus, minus spoilers, by the way, for anyone who hasn't read Descent into Avernus, one of the main problems with it is um, half of the book is about Baldur's Gate, but the actual story is mostly about Avernus, and the city you're trying to save is Elturel, so it's sort of like they used Baldur's Gate kind of just to sell it because everyone's excited about Baldur's Gate, but that wasn't really the story that they were telling. Like there are there are story reasons to go there, but eh. <laughs> in, in compa like in comparison, like I liked Dragon Heist more in terms of the writing of the module just because 
Dragon Heist for all for all Dragon's he Dragon Heist faults, it's very much um, for for the new authors on it. It's very much a new author module, but for all its faults, it uses Waterdeep. Like it, it is set in Waterdeep. There's a reason for like the, the the game is in Waterdeep. There are factions from Waterdeep. You know you're in the City of Splendors, and the fact that you're in the City of Splendors like is a very big part of the module. Um. Oh, there's so many bugs in this game. I'm 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 looking forward kind of to seeing if uh kind of to seeing Drake if uh all of the bugs are still here. Because I know they've patched the shit. Beamdog have done a very good job on this. Like I, I, I enjoyed Baldur's Gate the Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition, so I'm sure I'll enjoy this one as well. And they patched the shit out of it. But I'm sure there's still some of the kooky bugs in there. And uh <laughs> Pass through locked doors, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I mean, sometimes you kind of had to. Like, the, the, uh, one of the cool things about this game is um, there are areas that, like, you, you could get stuck on this one. Um, it wouldn't happen very often. It wasn't as bad as some of the older games, but um, you can get stuck on this game and, and not able to proceed. Um, uh, character's backstory tied to Elter Ultra to make them care about it. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. That makes sense. That makes sense. And I, I think I would do the same, uh, Ash, is with Descent into Avernus. I, I'd have... Uh, you you kind of have to um, chain them to Elter El, just like Elter El is chained to Hell. Um, but then, again, like, I don't know. I feel like you can run a prequel in Elter El, maybe? Uh, it, 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 I don't want to tell what wizards what to do, but if 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 I were wizards and I was writing this story that they've written, um, instead of making the end part, um, with the PCs considerably out of their league, um, particularly, uh, with the with some of the final encounters and stuff, and have it be very sort of story oriented as to whether or not you succeed or not uh, i.e. fiat <laughs> um, I would have done it as a bit like Waterdeep Dragon Heist I would have done a 1 to 6 module in Elturel uh, and around Elturel um, to do with the machinations of the various cults in the beginning um, screw Baldur's Gate have it be an Elturel and uh I can't remember what the country's called. The Theocracy of something. Is it the Theocracy of El Terrell? I can't remember. Um, and the Theocracy around it. Seems like an interesting setting. Make them care about the country. Then, bam! The big ending is El Terrell being fucking, you know, big spoiler, so I'm not going to say it. Um, and then the 7 to 20 module, which we're, we're, we're gasping for endgame content anyway, in terms of, like, written content. 7 to 20 module first three levels what the fuck just happened figure out get help from surrounding lands and so forth 10 to 20 go to avernus do the high game content at high levels seems seems better but again like i'm not knocking it it's not i i enjoyed reading it and i enjoyed the Baldur's gate source book but if i ran it i'd have to do a lot of work so it it's sort of in terms of priority for running it <laughs> the running the first half definitely on rails to get to hell pretty open for sandboxing yeah yeah absolutely and, and that, uh, uh, that's part of part of it is uh, uh, the reason they went with avernus is avernus is such an interesting setting like, i love avernus um my my uh and I, i've I, I really enjoy what they've done with it as well um my homebrew campaign uh because it's uh very related to tiamat and because zariel is like one of my favorite arch devils anyway and they gave her stats in this edition. And before Zariel, Bell was one of my favorite archdevils. Like, Avernus is my jam. I, I, it's, it's heavily linked to uh, the Blood War, which is one of the most interesting things about the cosmology. Like, there's a lot of stuff you can do with it. There's there's lots of interesting folks on it, and the, the whole Ever War sort of thing going on is really interesting. I felt like it deserved more than half a book. <laughs> uh, or rather, a quarter of a book, really. <laughs> um, which, yeah. But, 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 it, 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 no, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, and it was very pretty. The book is very nice. <laughs> yes, so, 
Hello everybody. Today, I'm playing some Neverwinter. Um, I haven't played this game in a while. Uh, I, a long while. Every now and then I come back to it. It's kind of like comfort food for me. Uh, along with some of the, some of, some of the other longer single player RPGs. Um, but I was thinking about what I was going to play tonight. Uh, I'm still going to play some more Fallen Order. Uh, probably going to do that more next Wednesday. Really enjoyed killing Ogdo Bogdo. So um, please, please people who enjoyed that, I'm, I'm definitely going to do some more of that. But um, I was thinking about what to play tonight and I was like, you know what? I'm going to play a game that I haven't played for ages that I love. And that's this game. Clunky and graphically outdated though it is <laughs> although they have put some new graphic options in it still looks terrible this this opening screen is the nicest start you'll see for a while um but but I, I love this game also something i realized i have never got through the long campaign on this uh the one to thirty campaign that split into two parts shadows of undrin tide and hordes of the underdark i've never got through it as a wizard I've done it, I've, I've completed this game a number of times, but I've always completed it as a martial character um, because it's a computer role-playing game, and, and, and for, for the most part, the, the hack and slash uh, sort of characters are, are considerably easier and considerably sort of less difficult to sort of manage and make sort of, de uh, sort of um, defensively strong enough to not die to some of the old-school sort of bullshit that's in this game. And I've never done it as a wizard. So, I think I'm going to try and do it as a wizard. Uh, played Neverwinter Nights when it first came out, oh, so long ago, but stopped playing. I haven't played any new or updated content. Oh, that's fair, that's fair. No, I, I haven't either. So, one of the things I might do is, if I end up playing this long enough, um, there's a new um, module, apparently, for the Enhanced Edition, a level 15 module, uh, called Tyrants of the Moon Sea, which is an upgraded version of a premium module that got cancelled um uh, originally um but they, they've like they've done it as a proper expansion pack and i've never played that i never played darkness over daggerford either um so if i do shadow of, shadows of undrin tide and we do actually complete shadows of undrin tide i might actually um play that instead of hordes of the underdark much as i love hordes of the underdark it is it is my baby uh uh the other reason i love this game as we will see is um uh, the my possibly my favorite D and D NPC in all of canonical D and D <laughs> is from this game and in this game. In fact, my original avatar on Roll Twenty um, was this this NPC. He is one of the reasons why I love bards so much. Um, it's also one of the reasons I have a soft, soft spot for kobolds, so I'm sure you can so sure you can guess who he is. Um, but uh, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna play Shadows of Undrin Tide. Um, uh, we're gonna marvel at all of the the glory dorkiness, and I'm gonna try and play a wizard um, in third edition. Now, don't get me wrong, wizards in third edition. Um, third edition is. Linear, linear warriors, quadratic wizards, uh, linear fighters, quadratic wizards. So, so wizards in this game are very strong at high levels. <laughs> at low levels, <laughs> this game. Oh man. Um. Well, you'll see. I'll die. I'll die so much. Hello, Magna Mama. Yeah, wiz wizards at high level are stinky cheese. Yes, they very much are. Um, I've played high-level wizards in this game before. Um, uh, Skyrim playthrough. I'm going to play a wandering wizard and cheese-tasting expert 20 levels later. I'm an archery thief and master assassin that steals everything. Not <laughs> <laughs> that, that's how every Skyrim playthrough works, right? Because you, you got to do all the guilds. So you end up being the guild master of all the different guilds. So so you're, you're, you're a, a werewolf, a werewolf vampire... Um, master fighter, um, like master thief, assassin, uh, like de deadliest assassin, dragonborn, mage, archmage, um, uh, greybeard, uh, <laughs> alchemist. <laughs> like <laughs> Skyrim is polymath syndrome, the game. <laughs> Oh dear! But no, we get we can play we can play some old school D and D. Uh, I'm gonna make a character. I swear in a second. 
Uh, it's funny how in most how in most RPGs it plays out like that. You want to be a wizard. Wizards are great. Wizards are great. I mean, you you can you can gimp. Uh, you can yeah you you can deliberately limit yourself in in Skyrim. Like I've done that before. Um, one of one of, one of my one of my favorite playthroughs is where um, I say I'm going to be one thing, and then I play it as realistically as possible in Skyrim. And if you actually stick to it, it's very rewarding. Like if you actually stick to things like um sleep schedules and food and, and maybe download some of the mods like new vegas was great for this uh, fallout new vegas um you play through that uh, on survival mode with some of some of the survival mods as well um that that let you sort of mimic being a real person i'm a real boy sort of thing um but but still play fallout new vegas which is a great game uh but with the additional challenge of like actually being a person and sleeping and eating and drinking and and like <laughs> so, suffering exhaustion and stuff like that and it's surprisingly fun surprising it's, 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 limit, it's linked to the appeal of games like rust and stuff i feel um the sort of survival games where, where you actually have to daisy as well where you actually have to care about realistic problems whilst also being the hero sort of well daisy you daisy you're more the the robber who steals people's bean cans and sh shoots people from three miles away with a sniper rifle but that, you know you're the hero <laughs> um yeah so we're gonna make a new character um uh so uh we're gonna be male because i'm male um uh, we're going to be a human although i did consider an elf um but the the races have changed so much in this game um i don't think i'll just check but i'm pretty sure there's no race at the begin so in in D, &D 3 um it the core races are are very limited <laughs> um ra race in general isn't so much of a big thing in uh third edition um like the main thing that you have problems with in third edition with D, &D races is uh the, there's a favored class mechanic um, that means that uh, if you multi-class, which is, depending on the class you're playing, if you're playing a martial character, multi-classing is almost essential. If you're playing a, a spellcasting class, multi-classing is uh, tricky. <laughs> um, we're, we're not going to be multi-classing much, if anything. Um, but uh, there's something called favored class, which means if you're a particular race and you have... Um, uh, the favored class of uh, so the dwarfs get favored class fighter. Um, so if a dwarf multiclasses, um, the fighter levels you have don't count towards what's called an XP penalty for multiclassing, which is a delightfully old school and terrible mechanic that Pathfinder got rid of for very good reasons. Um, that basically means that if you don't keep your multiclass levels within one level of each other, you gradually take an XP penalty, an experience point penalty, until you get them roughly sort of within one level of each other. So like if you're, if you're like 5-1-1, five, one, five, one, one, you start taking XP penalties until you start getting them even or close to each other. Um, it's meant to limit some of the stinky cheese that you can do with multi-classing four or five different martial classes. It doesn't. It just makes a. He it's just a big headache. <laughs> there's a reason they got rid of it, and there's a reason uh, Pathfinder has favored classes that give you a bonus for sticking with a class as opposed to a penalty. It's because it's a bad tool. But anyway, we're gonna be human. We're gonna be a human wizard um, because uh, uh, one of the other things um, Pathfinder has that third edition doesn't is Pathfinder gives you more feats. Um, the feats are similar to Pathfinder in this game, like they're similar power. Uh, so you got stuff like spell focus and stuff like that, but we get less of them. So the bonus feat is like really, humans are even stronger in this game. Um, the other races are good for different builds. Like um, the Dwarf Defender build um, from Baldur's Gate, for instance, still really good in this game. Um, gnomes are still good at illusions. Did, did consider a gnome illusionist. Um, I started loving playing a rogue in 5e, playing Paladins and Wizards back in the day of uh, NW1. So, so that's, I mean, uh, like you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't get me wrong. I I I love the idea of rogues in old edition D and D, and and there are some things that they do that they genuinely have a role. Like 
they they have so many skill points in a game where because there are so many skills, it, you are somewhat limited on skill points in, in third edition. Um, and uh, having so many skill points and so forth it is helpful. And they can do a few things that people can't do. But sneak attack is so limited as a rogue in third edition uh, that like, it's worse than backstab somehow. <laughs> and it's not Pathfinder's sneak attack either, which sort of opened up a few options and, and it isn't quite as painful with regards to like getting it and how many monsters are immune to it and stuff so many things are immune to sneak attack in third edition um so it's not surprising that you you like playing rogues in yeah cre creatures like undead so cre undead for instance are immune to sneak attack in this game which makes the rogues are already getting a, uh less hp than the pathfinder rogue and the dnd 5e rogue they're getting um less uh, less skill points because skills are broader, like there are more specific skills, um, like disable device doesn't exist, there's open lock and uh, disable trap like it's split into two skills, but you get similar amounts of skill points um, <laughs> that it, it, it's just yeah, no, it's a it, you can, you can do good rogues in 3rd edition, you just need to know what you're doing, whereas D&D &D 5e uh, rogues are really fun Cunning, cunning action is really fun. Like, I often, whenever I'm playing a character in 5e, um, a two-level dip to get bonus action, uh, cunning action, dash, dodge, or, da what is it? Dash, disengage, or hide. Uh, bonus action, um, action economy. I, I almost always consider it because it's such a good feature. Like, sneak attack's really nice, don't get me wrong. Like, sneak attack's really easy to get in 5e, um, and it's, it's a good damage output, but cunning action just gives you so many more options in combat situations. Um, but yeah, no, like, so you can, you can play, you can play other stuff, like, uh, gnomes are, gnomes are still really good illusionists, halflings aren't a bad race at all, um, but ha halfling sorcerers are quite strong, um, in this game, the luck bonus to all saving throws is lovely, um, like, it, they're, they're a good race, you know, in fact, maybe, I mean, I might play a halfling, actually, uh, halfling have favor class rogue, the reason I'm th thinking about it is normally I take luck of heroes, so that, um, oh, the extra skill points though. Hmm. Hmm. So there's a feat I'd normally take um, at the beginning of the game for almost every character because it's a it's only a feat you can take at first level, and stacking your saving throw bonus is high is really really important in this game, um, and. Uh, the feat is, is called Luck of Heroes. It gives you a plus one luck bonus to all your saving throws. Halflings have a class feature that does that. And most of the other stuff that halflings get isn't going to be disadvantageous to us. The only thing we're going to lose is the extra skill point at level. But honestly, as a wizard, we tend to... We tend to... Uh, whatchamacallit? Um, have too many skill points anyway. Because there are less... There are less class skills in this game. All of the knowledge skills have been bundled into law, the law skill. Um, halflings are amazing. It's true. You're not wrong. You know, I know it. Upset. It's true. It's true. Well, the reason I'm thinking about it is because if I'm going to take a feat that mimics one of the halfling class features anyway, and I'm not planning on multi-classing, it might be better off. I might be better off just being a halfling. The only problem I can see. The only problems I can see. One, um, our strength is going to be even more garbage than it is normally because i'm already going to dump strength to like minimum <laughs> we don't the only thing we need strength for in this game is carrying capacity and uh, uh what should we call it and uh, not dying to shadows so dying to shadows will still kill us anyway even with two more strength um and carrying capacity well that's what companions are for <laughs> like you can open their inventories and you can give them all the stuff and they will carry all your stuff so Companions. Companions are what carrying capacity is for. They're terrible anyway, so like if you're going to use them, which I will do because they have fantastic dialogue, uh, they're going to drain my XP and they're going to carry all my stuff. <laughs> they're, they're, they're Lydia. They're, they're sworn to carry my burdens. Um, you can get, and, and yes, I can get magic bags and so forth that reduce the, reduce the item uh, carrying capacity. So probably being a halfling is going to be stronger than being a human. Probably. Like, we're not going to use good aim. And the skill, the skill affinities are gonna be blah, but 
but plus one to AC and attack rolls is is good for everybody, particularly wizards. God, um, plus two to dex is nice. Um, gives us higher AC. Plus one morale bonus on saving throws against fear is just nice if it comes up, which it will occasionally. Uh, you know, I think. I mean, we could be a we could be a gnome instead. Um. That's it. I mean, gnome, gnome is probably a better wizard race. Gnome is probably a better wizard race. It increases our DC, uh, gives gives us a bonus to concentration, which, which, which we'll actually use. We don't get the luck bonus, though. Hmm. Uh, both got strength penalty. I mean, skill affinity concentration is actually quite useful. Concentration checks are quite hard. Con will make... Con so concentration in this game is a skill, um, unlike in Pathfinder, where it's a caster level plus your casting stat. In this game, it's a skill plus your constitution stat. Um, uh, Gnome is the best wizard race. I mean, I don't disagree. I don't disagree. Um, uh, you are Willow! <laughs> I do like it, and and we could go. We could be an illusionist. Like we could actually be an illusionist. Like it's a it's a pretty good wizard specialization. It, it loses enchantment, which is fine because we have will saving throw spells from illusion. It loses mass haste. Uh, blindness, deafness, probably. Yeah, you know what? You know what? We're going. We're going real classic, real fucking classic. We're gonna be. A, we're gonna be a gnome. We're gonna be a gnome illusionist. That's very. Oh, that's very old D and D. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It's. It's. Uh, it's if we get it, go old school night. We're gonna be very old school. All right. All right. All right. Um, being an. I mean, we could be this. We could be this. This angry boy, he's like, put him up, put him up. <laughs> uh, we could be this sly fellow. He looks pretty good. Um, this 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 chap looks very sad. Um, first top left. Well, this guy, the the the, the artificer. Um, hey, XL, how you doing? You have that from Gog? Yeah, it's it's a good game. It's a good game, man. Um, it's such a good game. It's a good old game. Um. Gnomes are inventors in three. That is true. They are tinker, tinkers and inventors. I mean, they they are in five e as well. They're, they're ro or at least rock gnomes are. Mm. In Fey Run, that they are tinkerers. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, this this uh, he's he's rocking he's rocking this long beard. I do like the long beard, and I don't think that one's an NPC. Uh, have I got any new portraits? I feel like I've got new portraits, but um. None of these are gnomes, really. <laughs> Except this guy. <laughs> He's a fighter. Um, the mustache wizard! Um, uh, oh, you mean this guy. <laughs> he does have a fantastic beard and mustache combo going on. Um, but since Platinum and Diamond... Yeah! High five, Excel. High five. Yeah, I, I had it from Platinum as well. Um, that, was, that, was, that was me. I, I picked up the... Uh, what is it? The PC Gamer Presents version. Um, originally when I played this game, I, uh, I bought four copies of it, um, on discount from HMV, uh, and gave it to all of my housemates and was like, we're gonna play this LAN, and they were like, what is it? And I was like, it doesn't matter, we're playing it LAN. Uh, and then I forced them to play, <laughs> play Neverwinter Nights LAN, but, oh man, uh, uh <laughs> was I a bad housemate? Yes, but did I get a multiplayer game of Neverwinter Nights out of it? Also yes, so you could say that I won that encounter. Um, perfect, lol, that looks more like a WoW gnome. It does look more like a WoW gnome, it's true, it's true, it's true. Tell you what, tell you what, tell you what. Uh, we get, we get PS1 Command and Conquer Red Earth. Great game, great game. Klaxons blaring as nuclear detect, nu nuclear launch detected. Um, absolutely excellent game. I love the Command and Conquer games. They're great. Um, our land, nice. <laughs> Painful, but nice. Used it so much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Um, you warp the Allied did. Wow, that's, that's. That might be too much. Did did that break it, or could you still play it? <laughs> All right, I'm, 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 I could do a poll. I'll do a poll. 
Um, we'll do doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. Where, where are where where are you poll button? Where are you now? Create a, create a dashboard. There we go. I learn how to do this every time I do it. Manage poll. Um, new poll. Uh, mustache or no mustache? No mustache. Uh, do 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 do. Duration, yeah, let's go. Blam. Okay, do, do you guys see that poll? It should should ping up on uh, ping up on your chat if if you're not audio only. If you are audio only, just put your vote in chat. Oh, that's okay too. I had to turn it upside down. <laughs> oh my god, that actually worked. But <laughs> think because the motor was too weak. Oh no, no more 007. No. <laughs> Oh, that's terrible. I mean, uh, didn't they update that? I'm sure. I'm sure they they've they've got updated versions of Commander Conquer Red Alert. Like, uh, I, f I feel like they do. You miss Allied spies. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. FF8 upside down. Did that make a noticeable difference to it to its quality? <laughs> Did, did it did it turn everything upside down? Cause that that'd be pretty great. Like if it turned everything if it turned everything upside down, I'd I I I'd maybe play that as a meme run at some point, like a stream stream meme. So just to, just to be clear, just to be clear, um, this guy is no mustache. This guy is mustache. No mustache, mustache. No mustache, mustache. Um, vote vote now. Fingers fingers on buttons. Um, there isn't a million million dollars at stake, but uh, you, you can pick one of these two. Um, if it was right side up, <laughs> the PS1 wouldn't work. Yeah, I'd imagine it is. Uh, already voted. Thank you. Appreciate that. I appreciate that. Um, while 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 you vote, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy this um, vegan pastry uh, that I have purchased. It's very nice. I hope so. Anyway, I haven't, I haven't eaten it. Yet. Oh. <laughs> you voted for Discord. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't I don't I don't know what you mean, Excel. <laughs> Vote for zero mustache. Okay, okay. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Hmm. Yeah, no. So we could play a gnome. We'll go play a wizard. We'll play an illusionist. Why not? Why not? So we lose the enchantment school. Uh, the way the way wizards work in in Neverwinter Nights, unlike in um, unlike in Pathfinder, uh, except if you're like a Thessalonian specialist, which is a nod back to this. And the way wizards worked in um, uh, older versions of D and D, um, if you uh, drop a school of magic, it bans you completely from using. Um, scrolls, magical items, and spells of another school or schools, depending on which edition it is. In this one, in, in, in Neverwinter Nights, it picks them for you. So some schools you don't want to specialize in because you'll lose access to some of the strongest schools. Uh, no wizard lo loses access to... Oh my god! 50-50! <laughs> Check the fourth one over from top. Ah, uh, this guy. Yeah, I, I do like this guy. He's pretty great. Like, he's a cheeky chappy. He's got a nice ring, nice braces, a lot of gold. I li likes me gold. Uh, and Neverwinter was fixed. Divination allowed only one limited. Um, yeah, right, 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 right. Um, it, it Neverwinter was fixed. Um, uh, d divination in older editions, yeah. Um, because divination wasn't considered a strong school, uh, you could pick divination and uh, only get one limited school rather than two. I used to love doing that because divination... In fact, you you can almost always find a use for one divination spell per day of each level. Like more than one, probably pushing it. You don't want to fill your slots with divinations. But one divination per level per day? Yeah, there's one useful divination like in every school, uh, in in every in every spell level. You got you got a true strike. You got see invisibility. You got um, uh, true seeing eventually. You got arcane sight. You you can get a lot of information from divinations that's useful. That means that one slot's not wasted, and you only lose one school rather than two. And it was like, this is a good deal. Why don't more people take this deal? Prying, yeah, prying eyes, prying eyes, scrying, um, detect scrying. Uh, at higher levels, higher levels, you get stuff like premonition. 
prescience, moment of prescience, although that's a pathfinder spell. Uh, could scan a dungeon exactly like uh, my, one of the one of the best ways to deal with the Tomb of Horrors um, was to use prying eyes to just scan eighty percent of the dungeon. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so we got a 50-50 vote, so, um, <laughs> so I'm gonna pick neither of them. I'm gonna pick this guy, because I like this guy. Um, alright, uh, I mean, <laughs> that's right, 50-50, I'm just gonna ignore both of them, I'm gonna pick this guy. So, pick what you like. I'm gonna, uh, you know what, Drake, I'm gonna. Um, that is my vote. I, I, I appreciate your vote. I appreciate your vote. I, I agree. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, so this is old school. Uh, very old school. So we got our D4 hit die. Oh boy. <laughs> We're gonna die. Oh no. Uh, at least Neverwinter Nights doesn't actually roll our hit dice. It just gives us a fixed amount of hit points based on our hit dice at, at level up. Um, but, oh boy. D4 hit die. It's a good thing we're going gnome. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna gonna have a high con, guys. Um, you pick Paladin. Yeah, so I've completed this game. So the, the two complete runs I've done of this game, I have played a Barbarian through the original campaign. Uh, so 1 to 20. Uh, and then I've done uh, a Paladin uh, all the way through Shadows of Undrantide and all the way through Hordes of the Underdark. I have completed Shadows of Undrantide with a Druid before, but I didn't play it all the way through to... Um, uh, to Hordes of the Underdark because Wild Shape was glitching and I, I was very sad because my build was my build was built to take advantage of how Wild Shape worked in, in Neverwinter 1 and it stopped working properly and I was like, well, I don't want to play another 15 levels with a broken character. Um, and I've played a Wizard. I played an Evoker through Hordes of the Underdark specifically because I was like, if I start at 15th level... <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to deal with low-level wizard bullshit. But we're going to try and deal with low-level wizard bullshit. So that's what we're going to do. What story is this? So so this is uh, this is uh, Shadows of Undrantide. Um, because I want to see if I can do a wizard through the low-level stuff. And get the, get the nice items for the high-level stuff. Um, yeah, it's great. I, I love Shadows of Undrantide. Like I said, my favorite my favorite, my favorite favorite D&D NPC comes, comes from this campaign. Um, Hilltop, great design. Yeah, absolutely. Well, the story's nice. The campaign, the companions are terrible, <laughs> um, but, but the story's nice, as we'll see. Anyway, so what alignment should we be? Um, I mean, uh, I, I, I sway towards true neutral. Alignment does vaguely matter in this one, from what I remember. Like, um, you, you, can, you can be good and evil, and like you get discounts with certain people. It, it, it's it's a little less restrictive from Baldur's Gate, from what I remember. I'm trying to remember what what you actually what it does actually matter for in Undrant Eyes. The desert bit. I think there's some options if you're good and evil. Uh, the red wizard makes you evil because he's all like slaves are good, and you're like no, slaves are bad, and he's like well fuck you then, you don't get my magic items. Um, or you can be like, slavery is good, and then I hate myself, and then I don't like dealing with him, but it's theoretically a possibility. Um, uh, chaotic good. Uh, chaotic good is a very gnome alignment, it's true. You're an hour late, but you see you haven't missed anything. That's that's right, Venfei. <laughs> also, ow. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Ah, uh, just talking. I'm just talking and reminiscing. It's a Friday night. I'm I'm chill. Um, uh, it is the alignment of the internet. That that's very optimistic of you, Ash. <laughs> Tiny little hill fort. Yeah, north of Sunderbar. True neutral is a smart choice for a wizard. It feels like a smart choice, and it is kind of the wizard's choice. Like like it even says, a, a wizard who devotes herself to her art and is bored by the semantics of moral debate is true neutral. Are we bored by the semantics of moral debate, guys? Um, it, uh, and Silver Marches, yeah, it, it all depends on the module and how it's coded, but if you're doing the campaigns, there are alignment to deity specific loot you can find. Yes, it's true, it's true, um, I'm, tr uh, I'm, tr I'm trying to think of any of, any of it's relevant for a wizard, though. Um, it, it's Shadows of Undrantide. Also, hello, Nick, how are you? Um, that's why you voted against variety streams for record. You like seeing things through to completion. Um, uh, do you... Do you, do you mean Fallen Order through to through to completion by any chance? I am still going to play some Fallen Order. I'm playing it next Wednesday. Um, <laughs> uh, but that's fair. That's fair. I, I, I appreciated your vote. Um, and 
I, I'm going to be interested to see how, how that whole vote sh uh, shakes out. Uh, Dragon Lance alignment. Magic is all encompassing. Oh, Crin server. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, all right. We'll go true. We'll we'll go true neutral. You convinced me. Let's go true neutral. Um. Uh, but yeah, no. See, seeing, th I I like seeing through. The, the reason I was I was asking people to vote on that was because um I'm in two minds about it because I like variety. I like playing different games every week, but at the same time, I like finishing stuff and like seeing end game content and stuff like that um I, I, li I like like finishing my games and feeling like i'm making progress and stuff i feel like some sort of balance or compromise between them might be the best choice but i'm still thinking about it so i wanted to see what everyone else wanted to do talking of um um balance we're not gonna have a balanced stat line at all we're, what we're gonna do right is we're gonna pump intelligence to the maximum that we can pump it that's step one step two is we're gonna line up our con our dexterity and our const our, our wizard uh, our dexterity our constitution and our wisdom and then we're gonna pump them <laughs> um, uh, as equally as possible and see how many points we can get okay that only okay we can't pump them all so uh, con is nice let's do that can we do 15 we can. Uh, we could have a 15 and a 13, but I think we're going to be better off pumping Charisma to 10. Um, because we might, might end up taking um, Persuade ranks with all of the extra skill points that we get. So ha having having a non-negative con, a non-negative Charisma even, uh, will, will uh, hurt us less in the long run if we end up actually wanting to take a Charisma skill. I remember Persuade being really overpowered in this one and like the other charisma skills barely mattering um so uh we're, we're gonna we're gonna leave that there um and that's 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 us that's us we got strength six we're gonna be a tiny tiny itty bitty gnome who can't carry shit he doesn't he skips all the days he doesn't just skip leg day um our, our dexterity and our wisdom aren't great but that's okay they're mostly there for saving throw bonuses um and the plus one to hit from small will help with that we got a decent con um intelligence constitution dexterity yeah absolutely i mean uh, theoretically i could do that uh 14 14 10 uh 18 10 um uh, with 10 wisdom um we do have a good will uh, but we don't have luck of heroes with this, so I, I persuade is your key skill to finish the last expansion with a good ending. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, spoilers. <laughs> I, I I've I've done that with a paladin, um, and, and I know, I know, I know that's technically the best ending. But it's not the most fulfilling one. <laughs> the most fulfilling one is the one where you kick the guy who you're persuading. Uh, uh, you beat the crap out of him five ways to Sunday. It's the romance one. It, it is. I know. I know. But but I just really want to be, be on that one bad guy. He's really annoying and I really wanted to kill him. And his fight's really good in comparison to... To just talking him out of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know what you mean, though. I know what you mean. And we might get there. We might get there. Um, but no, I think I'm going to go for a balanced approach. Con's going to be our good stat. Um, plus one dexterity won't get us too much in the long run anyway. I'm planning on focusing on saving throw spells. Because uh, that is generally a good idea for wizards. Um, and illusion, you know. Um, so, that's, those are our stats. That guy from you know where is a cool enemy. It's true. He... He, absolutely, he he is both of those things. A real dick in the FR books. It's true. All right, so we they, they give you some special packages and stuff, but we're gonna we're gonna ignore them because they're bad. Um, we're gonna configure our package. Um, okay, so we we gotta take concentration. We gotta take max concentration skill, um, and we're just gonna keep on pumping that all through the game. We're gonna ignore the craft skills because they're a trap. Um, we're going to take max law. Because uh, we have really good intelligence and that's going to let us identify stuff. We're going to take max spellcraft because that's going to let us... Um, I mean, counter spells is... I, I don't think I've ever used a counter spell in this entire game. Um, the, the, the name of the game in this one is... Uh, uh, you don't want to counter spell. You want to have good enough defenses that you don't need to counter spell. That's, that's, that's the trick. Um... So we are going, the other class skills we get, we get heal, um, which I actually am going to take, not only because we have a positive wisdom modifier, but also because 
in the lower half of the game, healing kits are a godsend. They're still good, oh, actually, uh, at the higher end of the game. Um, they're, they're a considerably cheaper resource than potions. They, they take a bit longer and they provoke, but they are a considerably uh, cheaper resource and they can heal poisons and diseases as well, which as a wizard, we don't have much way to do. And the uh, companion that we get with regards to divine casting and so forth is uh, pretty terrible from what I remember. Um, so we're going to take heal. That leaves us uh, two cross-class skills. Now, I could take a praise, and I do sometimes, but I'm not going to. Um, because we get so much money in this game anyway that it doesn't really matter. Um, likewise, bluff, uh, we're going to be better off with persuade. I'm thinking... I'm thinking I take persuade and either tumble or discipline probably tumble I, because we're gonna get so discipline is like um in this game uh unlike in pathfinder and indeed real D D third edition um uh, certain maneuvers in D D third edition are ability checks um certain maneuvers in um uh, Pathfinder against CMB versus CMD to simplify that system because in 3rd edition at least and older editions every single combat maneuver had a different rule. 5e kind of went back to that it's just that 5e's mechanics are so sort of simplified in comparison to to D&D 3rd edition and below that it doesn't really matter that there's a different rule because it all ends up boiling down to action or bonus action um, a skill check or ability check uh it's either opposed or versus AC, and you're okay. Um, but uh, in this game, um, you can use the discipline skill to resist uh, certain uh, combat skills. Now, disarm and cord shot do not... Well, disarm doesn't matter to us as a wizard. Cord shot, there are some high-level enemies that use cord shot, but we're going to kill them before they can cord shot us, ideally. Knockdown is a pain. Um... There's a lot of stuff with it, um, and it plays the knockdown animation, which is the prone animation, which stops us from casting spells, which is not ideal, but our strength is so terrible that it's not going to matter anyway. We're, we're not, we're not going to be able to make the discipline rolls to stop them from knocking us down. We're just going to have to be careful about being knocked down and maybe get items that can prevent us from being knocked down or spells, like freedom of movement. So we're going to take Persuade, because uh, having cross-class ranks in Persuade, it's going to hurt us. It's going to... Like, we can only put two ranks in it at the moment, and it, we don't get any sort of bonus to it. Um, it's never going to be super good, but we might have a chance of making some Persuade rolls. And we're going to take Tumble. The reason we're going to take Tumble um, is because for every five ranks in Tumble, we get a bonus to AC. A dodge bonus to AC. Just for free. Um, it's just, just, just based on ranks. We're not going to get them for a while, but the investment is going to pay off because our wizard AC is shit. <laughs> um, there are other good skills. Um, and when we get a higher intelligence, we, we will be able to sort of drop ranks into some of them to, to maybe increase our bonuses. Um, like, but honestly, skills are the other thing that companions are good for. Um, they're, they're, we're, we're here to kill stuff. They're, they're here to carry our shit and have skills that we don't have because we don't have literally all of the ranks in the game. Um, so that's the plan. There, there we go. We've got our skills. Now, um, last thing is our feet. Again, feats matter a bit more. Uh, wizards get some bonus feats. We get four bonus feats and then some epic bonus feats as well. Um, but we get feats slower than in Pathfinder. We get feats at uh, levels 1, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 uh, in this game. Whereas in Pathfinder, you get a feat every odd level. And of course, in 5e, you get feats that, you know, uh, feats feet are more powerful in 5e, but you get way less of them theoretically because you have to spend ability score increases on them. Um, feats are still as relevant as in Pathfinder, though, so we have to be sort of careful about how we pick them. Um, we've got spell focus in Illusion already for being a gnome, which is nice. Um, we could pick greater spell focus. And just have our illusion spell be amazing. Our illusion at this level is going to be color spray. Almost certainly. And that is very good at low levels. Um, uh, we, we color spray things and then our companions kill them. That's that's the plan. Um, 
but there are some feats that we can only take at first level that first level that it might be worth investing in. Again, for the future. For the future. Um, we're gonna need. Uh, we're gonna need greater spell focus. We're gonna need spell penetration and greater spell penetration because there are lots of enemies that have spell resistance in in both of these modules. Um, and we're gonna need to get them. We're gonna need greater spell focus as early as possible. Ideally, we'd have. Spell penetration and greater spell penetration early as well, but uh, we could probably hold off them in, for a bit. Combat casting. We're going to want combat casting um, because eventually we'll get improved combat casting. Um, and imp uh, combat casting just gives us bonuses to concentration checks to, to not die uh, while we're casting. Um, improved combat casting removes the attack of opportunity entirely. Again, that's high level content, but, you know, we need to think about it. Um... But, like I say, there are some feats that we can only take at this level and never ever again. Most of them are bad, but I'm a big fan of this one because it just gives you a plus one, luck of heroes, gives you a plus one bonus to all your saving throws forever, forever and ever and ever. Um, uh, I mean... But combat casting is very strong. We're going to need combat casting eventually. Expertise is also a good one. Um, because we have the int 13 and we don't actually need to attack with it. It just gives us a bonus to AC. Um, see, there's so many good spells. And there's so many good feats that you can you can take at this level. Um, hmm. Eventual build. One, three... Uh, 6, 9, 12, 18. So we get 6 feats. We need greater spell focus, spell penetration, and greater spell penetration. That's 3 feats. Got some bonus feats we can potentially use for meta magic. Um, combat expertise, luck of heroes. Ideally. Uh, probably, probably toughness. We have room. Okay, yeah, I'm going to do another poll. Um, should we take uh, combat casting? Uh, combat casting, uh, which uh, gets us uh, means we can cast in melee considerably easier. Or luck of heroes, uh, which gives us a boost to all our saving throws. Gonna reduce the time on that poll actually because that last one was too long. So, there we go. Because I'm genuinely sort of like umming and ahhing about it. Uh, Florida, no. Hmm. <laughs> I should. You know, I washed a glass. It's a hobgoblin glass as well. I bought a bottle of hobgoblin. But I'm drinking it out of the bottle. Smart. Uh, but yeah, so, like, there are other feats we could take, and if you think I should take another feat, do do drop it in. Do drop it in, and I'll, I'll definitely consider it, um, particularly if you tell me why. Tell me why. But yeah, also, hello everybody. I hope you're okay. I'm okay. It's Friday. I'm generally pretty chill. Um, like I say, I'm, I'm playing this today because I just, I just felt like playing some comfort food essentially this is this is this is computer game comfort food for me um uh, it's uh, like uh when i was in university it was skyrim um when i uh when i was a kid it was fucking pod <laughs> go fumble ash <laughs> don't pollute D, D with florida i mean from from what i have been told about florida from other people who live in florida that, that sounds like the right way around, to be fair. Um, <laughs> like, uh, Flo Florida sounds more terrifying than your average D&D dungeon. So, uh... <laughs> I 
Alright, cool. Luck of hero Luck of Heroes it is. Um Okay, okay, that's fine. Let's minimize that for a second. Where are ya? Do 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 Luck of Heroes. We're a hero! And we're lucky! We're very, very lucky. Very lucky indeed. Um, they have gator drills for kids, teaching you how to run away from gators. Wow, that's that is terrifying. You're you're not wrong. That's that's crazy. All right, we're a lucky hero. We're an illusionist. Um, so we're gonna pick. So spell spell selection for wizards, I feel like, is real important. So we're gonna pick a will save spell that's an illusion, color spray. We're gonna prepare that pretty much forever, because um, uh, even even at higher levels, even when it gets to over four hit dice, um, this is a, a it's a short range cone, which isn't ideal, but. Um, over four hit dice, stunned for one plus one d4 rounds. That's I, the saving throw isn't going to be great at higher levels, but if if we need to, if we get it off, stun just wins encounters. Um, sleep and blind is nice, but stun is just amazing. Um, what else? We need a reflex save spell and a fort saving throw spell, ideally for every level, in my opinion. Um, just so we have different spells to target the different saving throws, depending on depending on the enemy type. Um, luckily, we shouldn't shouldn't be cut off from any of the good ones because uh, we're uh, uh, what should we call it? We're we're not dropping any of the schools that have the really good saving throw spells in. We're losing enchantment, but because we're an illusionist, we've got some good will saves anyway, um, and uh, ev we still got evocation and necromancy, which are the two attack schools. Um, Ray of Frost for Cantrip. Uh, fortunately in 3 you don't get. <laughs> um, we don't get, we don't get, in, we don't get unlimited cantrips in this game either. Cantrips are just, oh, oh cantrips are god awful. In, in, in third edition cantrips are just, like, <laughs> in, in the tabletop, at least, at least in the tabletop, you've got utility cantrips, like, um, uh, what should we call it, uh, uh, detect magic and stuff like that. In this one, I end up preparing um, days at low levels against the humanoid opponents. Uh, and then, um, if I'm not using days, if I don't have a resistance to bonus to saving throws, I'll prepare resistance because, you know, plus one. Um, and then when I've got a resistance to bonus to saving throws, it's just light, 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 light. And I just end up lighting everybody up. And it's like, that's my cantrips. <laughs> Ray of Frost, Ray of Frost, Ray of Frost. Well, you, you can't though, because you get four Ray of Frosts and then you're done. So it's just Ray of Frost, Ray of Frost, Ray of Frost, Ray of Frost. I'm tired now. <laughs> I've done a total of 4d3 plus 4 damage. I need to sleep. <laughs> no, no, I, li I like cantrips. They, they should be strong. You should be able to spam them. It's... I don't, I don't like having to prepare, like, limited copies of them. It's just... Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, okay. Um, so. Uh, let's have a look. Got some good spells here. Um, Grease is a good reflex saving throw spell, but we should probably take a kill spell. If we're doing cones, then we could take burning hands. Grease is pretty good though, and will be good into high. So the the other things you have to the other thing you have to do is whilst obviously as a wizard, um, we can buy extra spells and learn new spells into our spell book. But it's always good to future proof your spells and work out, as well as using them at level one. Am I going to be using these at level five or level ten or level fifteen? And some some of these spells you can say yes, absolutely you will. And some of them you're like no. No, you will not be. You will you will never use this past like level three. Um, you don't hear it over over and over. That's fair. That's fair. You don't want to you don't want to hear it over and over. Uh, uh, collegiate magic uh, feat make a uh, college mage feat to, to Pathfinder Second Edition. Oh, uh, yeah. You might be able to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I think we're gonna want mage armor because we're gonna use that forever. Um Okay, we need we still need a reflex save spell. So what what reflex saves have we got currently at this level? We got burning hands, we've got grease, um we got ice dagger. Um but ice dagger isn't going to be as useful as burning hands, although it is a single target. Hmm. Uh, we've got magic missile, but that's not a reflex saving throw. Um so 
I think, fuck it. Fuck it. Burning hands. Color spray. Oh. Color spray. Uh, we're going to pick up mage armor. We're going to pick up... I mean, magic weapon's not... Magic weapon is quite a long duration buff at this level. Uh, what else have we got? Expeditious retreat. Is speed is almost irrelevant in this game. Um, oh, we got endure elements. A day, but it only only lasts after twenty damage. Mm, that's not too bad. I don't think there are many things that use elemental damage at this level. You can probably not have it. Protection from alignment is quite long duration. Gives us a deflection bonus to armor class. Immunity to mind affecting. Shield, almost certainly, but it's such a short duration spell at this level. Um, we get, we're going to want to summon. Um, because we need people in front of us that aren't companions that can actually kill things. Um, iron Guts. No. Uh, against Poisons. Isn't there a part of the game here where having a bonus against poison is really useful? I feel like early on in this module, like... Spiders, that's it. Giant spiders. There are loads of giant spiders in this game. Um, so maybe... Does that involve an attack roll? No. Maybe we take... Grease, as well as Burning Hands. We're never going to be able to prepare all these anyway. So mage armor. So I, ideally, we, we we want to take some that uh, we've got a will. Have we got fortitude? Is there are there no spells that use fortitude at this level? Surely not. Okay, so that that's a will save. That's no saving throw. That's a will save and an attack roll. I guess ray of enfeeblement's a fort save. I mean, you've got to use it on people that you don't want to use fortitude saves on, but sure. <laughs> um, we're going to need the summon. So summon's one of our three remaining. Protection of alignment and ray of enfeeblement? Sure. Let's do that. Summon creature. We, we're not taking shield. I am going to learn it at some point. But it only lasts one turn at this level. Which isn't isn't very strong. Immunity to magic missile is helpful. Um, but uh, it's even shorter duration in this game. Uh, spiders. Yeah, spiders, right? Um, just fucking spiders. Um, there, there's, a, there's a portion up ahead that, that, that has... Lots of spiders in. Um, I'm still very tempted to take Iron Guts for. It's quite long duration as well. And we've got a decent con. Um, how likely are we to be able to learn it? I don't think you can buy it anywhere. What would I drop for it? Grease? Burning Hands? I mean, maybe we, maybe we drop Burning Hands and take Iron Guts. Am I going to have the slots to prepare it? Burning Hands is terrible. Like, really awful. It's a bigger cone, but... Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I don't think I've ever taken it. Let, let's do it. Um, Grease... Iron Guts, Mage Armor, Protection from Alignment, Ray of Enfeeblement, and Summon Creature. That doesn't look bad. So we got Color Spray, Grease, Iron Guts, Mage Armor, Protection from Alignment, Ray of Enfeeblement, and Summon Creature as our first level spells. Um, yeah, that, that, could, that could work, XL, with regards to changing uh, Collegiate Mage. Uh, okay, so now we got Pick a Familiar. Um, there's some pretty cool familiars in this game. Um, I tend to pick one of the ones that can disable traps um which somewhat limits us uh, th there are some decent combat familiars as well uh, interestingly f uh familiars are relatively strong at combat in this game 
Uh, they, some of them anyway. Uh, they, they, they level up with you a bit like li sort of limited animal companions. They're, they're about as strong as animal companions, some of them, like the Hellhound, for instance. Um, but I think I'm going to take the Pixie. Just because I believe Pixie gets disabled, dis disabled trap and open lock. Uh, there are a couple of others that can, I think. Does this get it? No. No. Fairy dragon, no. Raven. Most of the ones that don't have hands, obviously, don't get it. Imp doesn't. Fire method doesn't. Yeah, I'm probably going to take... Like, weirdly, the other good one, the other good choice is Panther, right? Panther's a rogue. You have a rogue Panther, which I'm pretty sure is a WoW reference. <laughs> and or a Dritzed reference. Um, uh, so that you can start off with this, this very, this sneak attacking panther. <laughs> but we're going to take a pixie. Um, what do we think the pixie's name should be? Anyone got a good name for a pixie? Um, I'm always, I'm always bad at names. Uh, question... Nothing off the top of my head. That, that's a very long pixie name, Excel. Um, <laughs> the pseudo dragon quiz. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. That's that's at the beginning of this game. Well, let's let's hit generate name. Yoni, Agathid, Geli, Mephion, Merux, Mamat. <laughs> what are these names? Cryum, uh, Archalangon. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna call it chat. <laughs> you you guys are the pixie okay guys y you can't let me down all right you gotta gotta disable all the traps for me um and open open all the locks um you're you're, you're our pixie companion <laughs> okay so we've got we've got hair in that picture so let's let's actually give ourselves hair wow look at the look at this customization guys we got got four options <laughs> Oh god. Okay, okay. Um uh, I like I like uh steam steam conductor. Steam conductor uh gnome seems cool. Um uh, let's have all the tats because why not? Um and uh, we can be we can be swall no. <laughs> nice. Get yourself some coffee, XL. No worries, no worries. Uh, we got a darker hair color than that, so we'll play some darker hair color. Um, let's make our tattoo, I don't know, black and blue. Why not? No, oh, no. Black and pink. There we go. Cool. Why not? <laughs> Look how fucking swole that gnome is. Oh my god. Okay, okay. All right. Let's, let, and then clothing almost literally doesn't matter, so we'll just go with this, the standard outfit. Attack, I say. All right, we're going to be Morab. Um, Morab, uh, uh, Von Ramstein. <laughs> I, I was reading about uh, someone getting tickets to Ramstein. Um, so, uh, you know, absolutely. Um, and then we're going to be power hungry. Time has come. Destroy them all. Because that's basically Palpatine in, in, a, in a voice. Um, we're going to worship, uh... Gal Glittergold, because that's a very, very old school gnome god. Um, uh, yeah, we're done. We're fucking done. We did it. Did it, boys. Hilltop, one of many small villages that dot the most remote regions of the northern wildlands, known as the Silver Marches. Few would choose so cold and inhospitable land to make their home. Only those seeking a new life or to escape their past. It is in Hilltop that your mentor, Master Drogon, chose to settle after a lifetime of adventure. Here, he would pass on his knowledge to you and a select few others with promise. It is here that evil comes in the shadows, and behind it 
a sinister purpose that will see your own promise either realized in full or extinguished forever. Probably the last one. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, we're floating in space. Is is the game dead? Oh. <laughs> wow. Well, this is the first glitch. <laughs> Can we move? Wow, that was quick. Spacebar. It paused us in- it worked! What? <laughs> Is that a known bug? I've never had that one before. Yeah, I know I was paused, but... Well, when, when I hit spacebar now, it doesn't, um... It doesn't put us into into darkness imprisoning us. Oh my god, okay, well, it's all good. It's all good. Fixed it. I think we meant to get some box text at this point. I think something may still have gone wrong. That's surprisingly nice graphics, considered. Like the, 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 enha the enhanced edition has actually enhanced it. <laughs> uh, you paused during loading. I don't know how I did that. But yes, I was. Um, so we're going to take a focus crystal. So we've got a ring here that we can use to like teleport to save points, essentially. Got a journal. Um, oh. This is your journal, which chronicle chronicles your life at Drogon's Academy. From the day you set foot in the door to last Eve's entry, all of your experiences are contained within. One section of the journal talks about your interaction with the other apprentices. Xanos, the half orc sorcerer, has a superior attitude that rubs most of the other apprentices the wrong way. Dorna is a dwarven rogue who loves to incite arguments between Xanos and the third apprentice, Misha. Misha is a human paladin of Mistra, whose vision of the world is limited to black and white with nothing in between. Which is weird, considering that Mistra is pretty neutral and definitely has a lot of grey areas. Um, the books in game are great. Uh, the game time hasn't elapsed enough to remove the fog of war. Oh, that makes sense. Um, stuff bags with them. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Collect all the books. Um, uh, you are the fourth and senior apprentice, and Drogon has always held a respect for you and your abilities. Lately, Drogon has begun to seek new apprentices, as your term here has nearly reached completion. Your final examination will soon be upon you. And we get a item that gives us a small concentration buff. Drogon's last trial for you seemed a bit unfair. To test your powers of concentration, Drogon created a situation filled with interesting distractions, including including music, drink, and nudity. Because <laughs> we're a massive nerd, and that, that distracts us massively. Um, oh, cool. Well, two E spells. Some of the old spells are really cool. Um, which one is it? Um, in the midst of the distraction, Drogon walked into the room and shouted, Now! Immediately, you stumbled to your feet, shook your head to clear the cobwebs, and cast a spell. Surprisingly, you cast the spell quickly and effectively, and then you passed out. <laughs> when you came to, Drogon uh, handed you this crystal. You stared into it and found your head cleared quickly. With your ability to concentrate improved, the crystal can be used once per day in this manner. So that increases our concentration once per day. Uh, oh, we got some scrolls and stuff. Okay, okay. Still, has he got the old? So, um, in this game, um, uh, it's kind of small. Uh, I'm wondering if if I might change the resolution just to. I don't kind of want to. Don't fuck with it. If I play, if I do this again, I'll change the resolution and see if we can um, do smaller, but enlarge it so you can see the hot bar. Hey, Firehawks, way of we web of ways. Even sorry, I thought it said way of webs. I was thinking. Um, the fucking elder um, web spinner, uh, uh, Exarchs are uh, here. Hey, Firehawk, how you doing? Uh, we're, we're playing some Neverwinter Nights. We're playing some very, very, very old school games. I don't know what. I don't know why all of the chests in this game are full of um, full of hay. I think it's meant to be like a pile of treasure, but it just looks like hay to me. <laughs> um, but yeah, oh, uh, we got a uh, we got a wizard robe. Let's put a wizard robe on. Sure, why not? Oh my god. <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> we're, uh, 
we're very we're very fabulous. We have an excellent flair in this game. Yeah, it's such a good game. It's such a one of my, I'm playing a gnome wizard. I'm gnome illusionist fire um, because we decided to be very old school and also because um, like uh, I realized I haven't actually beat the game as a wizard before. Uh, it is a classic. It is a classic. But I've only beaten it as a as a paladin and a um, uh, as a paladin uh, and a barbarian before. Um, so I'm gonna try and try and beat it as a wizard. Um, yeah. So we get our get our potions into a tab. Um, <laughs> crossbow and a dagger. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Uh, well, we'll equip the dagger just in case we want it, and just in case we get some attacks of opportunity. Um, almost never gonna use either of those. Um, and we'll put our scrolls that we have. Okay. So we've learned that. We've learned that. We've learned that. Oh, we haven't learned magic missile. Um, we should we should learn magic missile. Uh, learn magic missile. There we go. Um, we'll put the other scrolls. We can't use we can't use the sleep scroll, but we'll put the summon monster scroll, and uh, uh, the shield scroll, the protection from alignment scroll, on our hotbar. That way we can use them. Uh, and we got the crystal on the hotbar as well. We should equip the ring. Um, and we need to do something with it, right? Focus crystal. Oh, I need it, need it on the bar as a power. That's it. Uh, do I need to assign it? Assign special attacks, assign other actions, blah, 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 blah. Oh my god, how do you do this? <laughs> so long since I played this game. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, it's something like that. Maybe you don't need to do it anymore. Maybe we can just open the inventory. Uh, either way, yeah. Uh, you're slowly making your way through... Um... Oh, nice! <laughs> enjoy, man. I, I hope you enjoy them. Um, they're... The we're, we're, we're uh, 20, 21 episodes in, maybe more, 25 or 26 now. Uh, a lot of content. <laughs> oh, we're gonna open the door. I think this, so I think we were meant to get an initial like text trigger, but I think because we were paused for some goddamn reason, um, it, it didn't it didn't play that. So when we walk forwards, we're gonna get our first bit of, first bit of conversation, I hope. Maybe? Ah, there we go. Just gonna turn up those uh, voice volumes. Uh, aha! It is Morab! Uh, aha! It is Morab! Tell me, Morab! Surely you have heard how our dear Misha, uh, Misha f uh, fared in her last test? I have had enough of your jibe, Xanos. You would have done no better. On the contrary, dear lady, I tend to do exactly what Master Drogon asks me to do. If he says to rescue the goblin child, then I rescue the goblin child. It is not so difficult. Yeah, so, so Xanos is an asshole, by the way. Uh, 23. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, oh, the Catacombs of Wrath. Awesome. Uh, yeah, that, that, that dungeon is fun. That's a very fun dungeon. I somehow doubt Master Drogon would ask you to rescue anything that he didn't expect you to rob first. I think there's a 3D option. Us, little Dorna, not I. See if that makes a difference. But an, a goblin is an evil creature. Child or no, how can I be expected to lend it my aid? It was not a fair test of my ability. Uh, message Morav. Uh, copied, uh, copied and pasted from Notepad. Ward Mist and Web of Ways were great. It's true. Agreed. Um, uh, so we got... So you'd leave a child to die. You're an idiot. Master Dragon wanted you to rescue a goblin. I agree that wasn't fair of him. Wow. Wow. Um, so we can berate her. We can tell her she's an idiot. We can ask her a question. Or we can agree with her. I'm going to ask her a question. Uh, Master Drogon tests us all, Morab, so that we reach the potential we came to his school to achieve. Your tests are more related to magic, of course, just as Xanos's are, but the goal is the same. Master Drogon is a very wise man. 
Mm, I don't think the game uh, plays him out to actually be a very wise man, but hey, maybe maybe he is. Maybe he is. Um, let me just do something. Um, they say he was a great adventurer from before he retired. That is what I hope to benefit from, not his wisdom. Uh, I, I don't know. Perhaps there is a lesson in Master Drogon's test that I have not yet considered. <laughs> we can sigh at them. Um, you'll learn in time, Misha. Don't worry about it. Oh, thank you for your kindness, Morab. I suspect Master Drogon will never hold me in the regard that he has for you, however. Well, yeah, we're, we're the main character, so... Uh, bah! Who cares how the dwarf regards them? I came here to learn what I can from him, and that's all. Uh, hmm, the, ro the rewards will be worth it in the end, I think. Ha! Ah, my sentiments exactly. The fact that Drogon is not richer tells me he has only so much adventuring knowledge to pass on. Wow. <laughs> Great wealth is not the goal of every adventurer, Xanos. Hmm, I think it is, actually. <laughs> I do not speak for the fools, little girl. Let them do as they wish. Um, Morab, I heard Master Drogon saying that your final test would be coming very soon. Do you think you are ready for it? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we, do, we don't know what the test is, so... A reasonable answer. You are more patient than I would be in your shoes. Uh, oh, the Harpel's Mansion. Yeah, right. Um, I, <clears throat> I bet that Master Drogon will take away Morab's ring for the final test. Ha-ha! No teleporting about for you! But Master Drogon gave us those rings to keep us safe. They've kept us all from being killed during our training. And what better way to test if you are ready to leave the nest, eh? What do you think of that, Morab? Ready to lose your ring? Uh, what? <laughs> you know, looking back at some of this old dialogue... You what, Xanos? <laughs> uh, he'll have to pry it off my cold dead finger. Ha! And with Morab on that one. Yeah, he wants us to lose our ring fire. Huh? Huh? Um, well, you'll have to get used to life without it eventually. The ring only works within a few miles of Drogon anyway, and needs its focus crystals to work. Well, later is better than sooner. I intend to pawn it when I leave anyway. Do you know what your final test will be, uh, Morab? Has Master Drogon said anything to you? Uh, nope. Oh, fuck. I, I, I clicked the wrong one! Now Xanos is going to tell me off! Oh no! Ah! You know nothing! Whatever, whatever it is, the cunning little dwarf will not make it easy on you. I cannot wait until Master Drogon gives me my final test. Oh, I wish I was in your shoes. <laughs> I'm gonna fire. I'm gonna. He, he's, he, he's, not ha he's not having my ring. My precious! Allowed you to enchant multiple locations with teleport without air awards. Nice. For once I agree with the little girl. I came to Master Drogon to learn how to be an adventurer. I wish to adventure. You know, one of the things this game gets right about most D&D games is that all of the terrible, terrible accents for all of the voice acting. It's all awful. I don't think there's a... Aside, aside from my favorite NPC, I don't think there is a good, good bit of voice acting in this entire game. And you know what? That adds to the charm. It adds to the charm. That's a big radius. I <laughs> pre-programmed the destination. The lava pit. <laughs> True. I wish something exciting would happen here at Hilltop. Wow. That's that's like saying, I'm only one day from retirement, or uh, I hope nothing bad happens, because it would be a shame if something happened to this not very well guarded piece of art inside of this museum. Oh look, someone's attacking. We, we, we use our rings. Man, the spell effects for this game were surprisingly good. Got Bigby's hand, got Globe of Invulnerability, uh, Bigby's, uh, another Bigby's hand. That's a magic missile, uh, going into the Globe of Invulnerability there. Uh, Isaac's Lesser Missile Storm. Multiple magic missiles. Uh, people being stabbed. Firestorm? What the hell? <laughs> oh no, I think that was I think that was Holy Word, actually. All of those kobolds should be super dead. 
Oh. And then we're the teleport cavalry. Teleporting in to save the day. And then... Well, when we get a chance, immediately pausing the combat. <laughs> okay. Um. Wait, hang on. Okay, I've got to, I've got to use the arrow keys to turn to turn the camera in this one, rather than WASD. Okay. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Um. All right. So we got cobalt footpads, cobalt thugs. Dump them in the canal, creek, swamp, cage, lava, lava pit. You dump them in the lava pit. How crap was his you people? Uh, his HP poo. Exactly. Like, uh, well, in all fairness, you find out later that Drogon has uh, uh, prestige classed into a class that we can't prestige into, um, which is that he's a mystic theurge. So he's a wizard cleric mystic theurge. So his HP pool is probably... It's considerably better than us. He's meant to be down by poison, but like, yeah, no, it doesn't. It doesn't make much sense. <laughs> also, I love how your correction didn't correct that fire. <laughs> Stupid phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, don't worry, man. I got, I got you. I got you. Okay, so we got a cobalt thug over here. We've got co various cobalt thugs. Okay, I think the first thing we're gonna do is have a look at our spells prepared. Okay, we've got color spray, grease, daze, light, ray of frost. Hmm. All right. Uh, well, let's chuck grease on someone, shall we? Are any of these kobolds coming at us? No? There's no real good grease spots, actually. Okay, let's try color spray, then. Um, had a big mass of them. I mean, it doesn't matter too much as long as we don't die in this combat, but... Uh, let's go for this guy. <laughs> Oh, look at that! Our color spray took out four, five... Uh, we, got, we got six kobolds in that color spray, and four of them instantly taken out. Uh, true necromancer had a bullshit requirement. It's true. That's true. Um... Oh, no! Uh, fucking kobold thugs trying to murder us. Shit. Uh, we got potions, though. Uh, what's our health like? Uh, it is low. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> We're on two hit points! <laughs> we might die in the first encounter. <laughs> Drink potion! Okay, po potion healed us fully. Help. H help. Please. Please help. Okay, summon creature. Uh, right next to us. Oh, kobolds run away. Oh, that's okay. The kobolds running away. They decided not to murder us. Uh, and then you're familiar, and then go down. <laughs> Get in there. Um, Ray of Frost. Oh my god, we didn't even we didn't even need to cast it. Oh, it's all good. It's all good, guys. We we nearly died in the first fight, but we didn't. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Have we killed all the kobolds? Yeah. The little beasts are all gone. Then I shall see to Drogon now. I can only imagine what they did to make him fall. She's awesome. like, he's a level 10 I character. Why, why did he go down to a kobold? To counter it with my magic. Hold on, good dwarf. Le level 7 sounds... I mean, it's a very useful spell, but it sounds pretty high level. Um, you could still use it for an elven kingdom. You just have to have like a super powerful elven mage somewhere to um, have cast it and done, done nothing else. He, he, he's the guy that makes all the magical architecture, but he doesn't do anything like plot hole. <laughs> plot hole? Oh, oh, my friend Nick. This isn't- this is only the first of the plot holes. This- this game is like Swiss cheese with regards to plot. <laughs> Again, it ca- Nothing. it- The poison resists- <gasps> Magic poison! This is no simple toxin these kobolds have used here. Yeah, I bet. It took out a level 10 dwarf. <laughs> but they didn't use it on us, you understand. 
just just the NPC. Um, now, again, it, it captures another wonderful thing about D&D, which is... Uh, oh, you build while you load watch. Oh, that's awesome, Nick. That's awesome. Um, uh, but no, uh, uh, the, uh, the fantastic thing about early sessions of D&D homebrew is that the DM is bullshitting it and making it up as he goes along. And this is exactly what's happening here. They're, they're bullshitting it and making it up as they go along. <laughs> How could they have acquired such a poison, I wonder? Mm. And why did they come all this way? Just to strike at Master Drogon. There must be an answer. An answer we will spend multiple levels finding. Okay, um, so first things first. Thank you for your help, but who are you? I find it more than a little suspicious that some helpful stranger would show up just as this little creature's attack, eh? How rude. This lady aids us without asking for anything in return. Would you repay her with suspicion? Rude or not, I'd like an answer as well. You have remarkable timing, my lady. Of course you are suspicious. I would be as well were I in your shoes. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Ayala Windspear. I have been following the tracks of these kobolds for almost two days now. I thought it odd they would range so far from their home caves in the nether mountains. So I, I think this NPC is actually in the books. I think she's, she's from the book somewhere. I feel like she's one of the Chosen of Mystra or something. Um, I can't remember exactly, but I feel like she is in the in the Forgotten Realms books. I never imagined they would do something like this, however. As soon as I realized they were headed for Hilltop, I came as quickly as I could, but far too late. Oh, she not? Oh, okay. She, she feels like a character from one of the books. Have you read the Dave the Commoner blog, Mara? Yes, I have! Oh, it's I love that blog. It's fantastic. You're, you're talking about the one where, where, where he eventually learns to be a wizard and is just like role-playing weeks and weeks and weeks of being an NPC, right? Like being a merchant. Um, I, I, it's such a... Like in Pathfinder, I, I think. Um, it, it's such a good one. I, ha I haven't read it for a while, but... Is it still going? Is, is he still... Is he still, still alive? Like, he makes lots of- he'd made lots of progress when the last time I, I looked at it. Being an M NPC in real time using the downtime rules, that's it. That's- that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still going! Damn! Oh, that's awesome. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. Uh, why were you following these kobolds to, to begin with? I was just passing through this area, to be perfectly honest. It's my responsibility to take note of strange occurrences and investigate them, however. What do you mean it's your responsibility? I am a harper. Hooray! It's a harper. Oh no, all of the problems could probably be solved in the world if you got rid of all the harpers. He's at level 15. Wow. That's really, that's amazing. Um, I love how he's done it. Almost all rules as written as well. <laughs> uh, the harpers, it's uh, some kind of secret organization. One that secretly meddles in the affairs of others, whether they welcome it or not. That is a viewpoint born of ignorance and accuracy. We Harpers band together to fight evil and people we don't like, wherever it arises, even though some may call it meddling. Because it is. <laughs> nah, the Harpers are great, but, but they're, uh, they're not very competent, but they're great. This naturally means that the Harpers have many enemies, which we're very, very bad at actually killing. I suspect one of them is responsible for this attack. Yeah, no kidding. I, I hope I am wrong. Believe I can shed some light on that. With my dwarven accent, I think I can shed some light on it. Master Drogan. <laughs> my female dwarven accent. <laughs> I, I shouldn't mock. Drogan, I, I... you live. Mistra be praised. Praise the sun. It was the artifacts they were after. They're stolen. All four of them. I can do nothing. I mean, dude, you just cast Holy Word. I'm pretty sure you could do something. Um, oh, man. I, I stopped reading Goblins a long time ago. Uh, looking for group, I am closer to up to date with, but... I stopped reading that one a long time ago. I'm surprised. Like, I I, th I thought the the guy doing goblins had like a breakdown or something. Like it was it was really it was really sad and bad. Like he had like a a period where he quit the internet or something. 
Richard was great. I loved Richard from Looking for Group. Um, uh, it, it is is a, you can, I mean, don't don't uh don't spoil it for me, but but certainly like the where I left Looking for Group, I was just um they were just getting into the meat of Richard's plotline, like why why he be like he be, um and. Uh, that was that was really interesting actually i i forgot i forget why i stopped i think i just cut all my web comics because I, I was just reading too many of them kind of okay okay I, like, there, there was I, I know there was something bad that went down a while ago that i i i, I know i remember feeling pretty bad for them but i i don't know i can't remember exactly what happened or who who was in the right or, it was it was like internet drama or something i thought as much how could anyone have found out you even had them this is terrible news. I'm going to guess magic. Magic is how they found out. What artifacts are you talking about? When Drogon, re when Drogon re retired to Hilltop, the Harpers entrusted four dangerous artifacts to his care. We thought that this area remote enough that they would be safe. They were. I do not know how they were discovered. Magic. I'm guessing magic. <laughs> We'll have to find out. Those artifacts are too powerful and dangerous to be left in unknown hands. Uh, we can help. We can say we should get them back. We can tell her to hurry. <laughs> we can tell her to leave. Hmm. Well, I mean, if they stole them, we should get them back. Um, I mean, I hate... Obviously, obviously, deep, deep within my gnomish bones is a hatred for kobolds. Which is unfortunate, because the best character in this module is a kobold. <laughs> Last post is October. Oh, okay. There's she now. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, my, um, I, I didn't, I didn't mean to misgender them. I, I genuinely didn't know. Um, had had a bad time with a Kickstarter, which caused the company she was paired with to screw her over. Oh no, she's stressed while figuring out. I mean, yeah, I, I imagine it would. Ah, uh, oh, right. I think I saw the big. Mm. Well, that's unfortunate. I didn't know that. Um, but I'm glad they're still going. If 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 that's the case, then I'm I'm very very glad that they're still going, despite because I remember a lot of a lot of uh, internet shit I equivalent being thrown at them around that period. So I'm I'm pretty glad that they're still they're still going then. Um, yeah, Excel. Yeah, uh, that d he's he's the best. He is he's the he's uh, that particular NPC is the best. Uh, we're gonna meet him in this module. He's pretty great. I'm glad you agree. I won't be able to follow you, however. I need to stay here and tend, tend to Drogon's poison. Well, of course. Of course the powerful NPC that started the plot can't come with us. This is classic Forgotten Realms. Morab, my eldest student. It is up to you, because you're the main character. No, it is vital that you find these items and bring them back. Uh, I'll get killed. I'm not your errand boy. Harpers will reward me handsomely. Are you sure you can count? You can count on me, Master Dragon. I won't fail you. Such, such courage, dear boy. You do me proud. I'm dying. I I'm dying. That's why I've got so many ellipses in my in my text. This will be your final test. I know that you are ready. So much. So much relies on you. I know you will not let me down. <laughs> ah, I cannot. Ugh. <laughs> She's doing a lot better now, though, from following her on Twitter. And the comic is co comic is getting to some kick-ass points. Oh, cool! I might pick it back up then. Uh, uh, I, I, yeah, no, I, I might, I might give it another look. Um, because uh. Uh, yeah, that sounds interesting. Drogon, he's passed out from the pain of doing that voice. It is up to you then, Morab. As he said, you must recover these artifacts before they can be put to dangerous use. Uh, I will do my best. Do you have any advice? If you need assistance, think of asking Dorna or Xanos to accompany you. The others can remain here and help guard the school. Honestly, I don't think we need either of them. Like, they're not that interesting. They're pretty bad. They sap our XP. We can just summon stuff. <laughs> Quiz time! Yeah! <laughs> I'll call with you, Morab. Our skills will complement each other. And besides, I expect you need some muscle to back you up. 
A muscle, eh? All I see is little dwarf with very big mouth. Oh my. Better that than a half-orc with an oversized ego. You make fun of Xanos, but you shall see. You'll all see. Morab will pick Xanos gladly, and then Morab will laugh at you. Ha ha ha! It is kind of funny that the, the starters in this game, like they deliberately played against type, so that the starting companions are a dwarf rogue cleric and a half-orc barbarian sorcerer. Because, you know... Bad builds. <laughs> uh, Hawk now have Arnold Ah, <laughs> uh, 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 Morab will pick me, and then he'll forget about it. No, no, wait. Hang on, mixing two accents. Ah, uh, he'll pick me, and then I'll be back. Uh, take a chill pill, Donna Trap Springer. <laughs> There is also bound to be some equipment here in the school which can help you. See if you can find some. Healing equipment especially. If you can't find potions, healing kits will have to do. As for the artifacts themselves, I can tell you what I know about them if you wish. It's not much, but it might help. Uh, beyond that, all that remains is to go out into Hilltop and follow the trail of the kobolds. Should not be difficult. Their passing will have been noticed, I'm sure. I will help you as much as I can, but my first duty is to keep Drogon alive. Whatever this poison is inside of him, I intend to fight it. Fight it with my fists, I say. Yeah, he's a barbarian sorcerer. <laughs> Using a dagger, no less. <laughs> Wearing armor just to get some arcane spell failure chance, because that's a thing in this edition. Oh, he's just terrible. Now that you're conscious about it, it doesn't work. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm doing I'm doing a bad Arnold impression when I'm when I'm not conscious about it when I'm conscious about it I'm doing an even worse Arnold impression it feels feels bad man feels bad <laughs> uh, Recognar honestly um, uh, he and Xanos I wouldn't be surprised if the people who made I mean I I'm almost certain the people who paid, made Pathfinder Kingmaker have played this game before. Wouldn't be surprised if there's a reference there, because, like, Xanos and uh, Rek. Rek is, like, a better character, for sure. Uh, Xanos is very half note anyway, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's sort of a subtle nod to Xanos. Like, they're, they're quite similar in sort of personality in some ways. Um, although, Zan in all fairness to, to, to Xanos, Xanos, like, in this one, like, when you talk to him, his personality is like, I, I, I want to be a villain, but I want to be a smart villain who doesn't do stupid things and get himself killed. And I, I'm kind of like, I respect that. You're not going to succeed because you have an absolutely terrible build, but I respect the, the, the sort of common sense you've got going. <laughs> Uh, mithril shirt isn't so bad if you had the proficiency. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. If you if if you five five percent chance like isn't too bad. But but then again, like just just wear braces of armor. Like it's just better most of the time. Uh, how else can you help me exactly? Well, that depends. Is Drogon still using the teleport rings? If you ask whether he or not he get, still gives the rings to his students, the answer is yes. Thankfully, yes. You needn't get so excited about them, Xanos. They're just rings. You keep that smoke where I cannot see it, dwarf. These rings will save our lives plenty in the days to come. The fact that you have them is good. As I recall, the ring uses an energy of the focus crystal to pull you to Drogon the instant before death, correct? You can also use them to voluntarily return here. Seeing as I'll be wherever Drogon is in both cases, we can use that to our advantage. I should be able to use the connection between the ring and the spot you came from to teleport you back there if need be. But I can't teleport anywhere because I'm too busy fighting the poison with my fists. Put em up, poison. Put em up. I wouldn't advise jumping back somewhere dangerous, but, well, who would? But I will be at least able to save you some time. I'm afraid there's not much more I can do to help. Do you have more crystals? No, of course not. I imagine that there's a lab around here. Perhaps in his room you can find it. There must be a way to make more crystals. Uh, uh, I don't need healing, uh, I don't need to teleport, I don't need to find out how Master- Oh, uh, there's a side quest we can get. How's Master Drogon do doing? Um, poorly. It takes all the magic I can muster to keep the poison from killing him. I will do what I can. He is a strong dwarf. I'm sure he will pull through. You've got class levels, Drogon! Wake up! Uh, is there something I can do? 
Yes, actually, perhaps there is. I believe the poison is a magically altered form of snake venom. Wow, really? <laughs> perhaps from an asp or something similar. Oh, just cast iron guts on him then. Um, if that is the case, there may be some herbs that can speed Drogon's recovery. There is a herbalist in Hilltop who should have them. Go to the herbalist and tell him that you need a tressum tongue, some charcoal, and some helm thorn berries, and then bring those back to me. Uh, questions. Tell me more about the artifacts. I know little about them, and it's mostly memory. I wish I had more. See, if I remember correctly, there's four artifacts. A mummified hand, a dragon's tooth, a statue of a tower, and a mask. Okay. A hand. Belonged to a powerful lich named Belferon, as I understand it. The hand was all that was left when he was destroyed. I remember it being said that some of Belferon's power remained in the hand. Perhaps someone is trying to tap into it. Perhaps one of Belferon's old followers wants him resurrected. If that was the case, it would be terrible news. Belferon threatened to destroy Faerun the first time. We certainly don't need him trying again. Classic. Classic lich. Uh, yeah, braces armor, rings deflection. That's right. Um, yep, star sins, absolutely. Um, uh, that's the uh, armor bonus and deflection bonus. Um, lab is top room, but you need the key from the lab. Yep. Which we need to talk to the pseudo dragon. Um, Dragon's Tooth. A rem remnant of the great worm Hephaestagon. What a name. F that, that's literally Fire Dragon. Fire God Dragon. <laughs> wow. Uh, a great dragon that also wielded the most evil of the dark arts. <gasps> Tap dance. Oh no. <laughs> the dragon died long ago. Also, hello, Starsons. Uh, but it's possible that the kobolds could have some interest in it, seeing as they are drac of draconic origin themselves. I have trouble believing the kobolds are in these, the instigators of this theft, however. That's racist. Uh, it's more likely they serve another, perhaps another dragon aspiring to his power. Okay, tower statue. I actually don't know very much about that. Oh, well, great. Um, uh, it was found in a desert many years ago. One of our wizards detected powerful and destructive magic within it. The nature of the magic could not be discerned, however, so it put aside to be kept safe so more could be discovered about it. I have my doubts the statue would be of use to anyone. Perhaps its theft was only incidental because it lay with the rest. Or it's a plot, MacGuffin. I bet it's a plot, MacGuffin. Get, bet you a hundred gold. <laughs> Tell me more about the mask. That once belonged to a high priest of the Lord of Shadows. <gasps> Morris dancing! Oh no! <laughs> it's the Discworld! You need to Morris dance or the universe will end! <laughs> Morris dancing. Very violent. Very violent. It's very violent. Um, I believe and is imbued with considerable power, though nobody has figured out how to use it. Oh, I bet I will. I'm great. I'm a wizard. I'm a wizard! Seeing as the God of Thieves rarely produces items of benevolent purpose, it was decided best to keep the mask safe and out of his followers' hands. Perhaps someone has figured out how to use the mask's power. If so, any amount of mischief could be expected as a result. Uh, why are these items so dangerous? All four of them are considered to have power of a malevolent nature, though we, we have yet to discover an application for any of this power. Power! Unlimited power! The fact that the power exists could be tempting enough for some, and it's very possible there may be someone out there who knows more about these artifacts than we do. The trouble would be figuring out which artifact the thief is in fact interested in. Why not all of them? Um, and what they intend to do with it. Considering the nature of these items, it is certainly evil. <gasps> Mask has been mentioned. Never mention him if you don't want to be burgled. Oh no, I'm being burgled. Ah, ah, please, no mask, no. Not the Morris dancing. <laughs> Uh, why were the artifacts kept here then? Why not somewhere safer? I mean, to be fair, they gave them to a, like a level 10 plus dwarf, cleric, wizard, mystic thurge. That's pretty safe. <laughs> and where exactly would somewhere safe be? Behind the walls of a keep, surrounded by guards? What better way to announce that you hide something of value? Well, yeah, but also to protect it. No, the Harpers believed that this school was remote enough and nondescript enough to be considered safe from molestation. I'm talking about burglary, though. Um, for many years, that has indeed been the case. Sure. Uh, I don't care about the Harpers. Uh, I don't think I care about the Kobolds. I don't care about her, for sure. So, bye. Excellent. I'll tend to Drogon. Bye. Okay. Right. Um, turn around. Turn around. Bright eyes. Okay. Tab illuminates everything. Thank God. 
Otherwise, I'm never going to be able to tell which is which. Um, oh. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, okay, got loot over there. Loot over here. Uh, you can't fool me, lady. That was a cure wound spell. <laughs> that was a cure like wounds. That's not going to help with his poison. You're not actually doing anything, are you? You want him to die. Uh, middle of nowhere. Five, 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 five. No! Downstairs. M for map. Alt to highlight items. Uh, it's tab. They've changed it to tab. Uh, let's see what alt does. Nothing. Huh. Um, uh, I mean, I, I, I don't like these changes. They're terrible. Uh, uh they, they break my immersion immediately. No, I'm kidding. Um, okay, so we summoned a creature. So we should probably, um, we don't need to, to do the, the dragon, but, uh, after we've done the dragon, before we go outside, I'm gonna rest. So, so something you can do in this game that you can do in almost all the games. All the, all the Neverwinter Nights games is uh, you can basically rest whenever you want. There are some modules that change that, but as we're playing a wizard, I am going to be resting all the goddamn time. Um, which is lovely, because there's almost no consequence for it. Um, and many games have been like, that's bullshit, but really, like, the, the game expects you to, to rest all the time. Uh, it expects you to have full hit points and spell slots for mo most of the fights. Um, there, there are a few instances where it doesn't, so I'm, I'm going to be resting pretty much constantly, but that's okay. Um, highlights characters. Ah. Then I learned. Uh, okay. Oh, receive the fairy dragon. <gasps> Let's step across this magical ward and see what happens. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh my, what is this? Is it another kobold come to wreak havoc on Master's things? Well, Reese will fight them, yes she will. She will protect her Master's things this time. No, 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 it's someone I reckon, recognize. Gladdens my heart, yes it does. Hello there, Morab. <laughs> we, we can call her annoying in the first conversation, wow. Uh, hello, Reese, how are you? I am still being Reese. oh yes, I am not dead, that is a good thing. But you should be knowing that the kobolds stole Master's stuff, yes they did! <gasps> oh no. But Morab, you cannot help, for they are gone, and that is sad. But Reese feels something is wrong with the Master! Tell me what happened to him, please, oh please! Uh, he was poisoned. Oh no, oh no, poor, poor Master, poor, poor Reese. If Master dies, then Reese will be all alone! I hope I don't have to do this voice for long. <laughs> Reese should be gone to Master. Yes, she should. But Master wanted Reese to stay down in the laboratory. Oh yes, that is what she what he said. Reese must obey, kind Master. Uh, one, one. <laughs> oh, Mora, Reese feels terrible right now. Maybe if we talk a bit, you will make me feel better. Yes, yes, I love to talk. Do you want to hear a riddle? Uh, sure. Oh yes, a riddle. My riddle. A fine choice for a fine man. Here is my riddle. A woman has five children, half of them are sons. Is this possible? Uh, yes. Oh yes, yes, it is true. Reese thinks you are smarter than you look. Ow. <laughs> or else very lucky. Oh, have you memorized these XL? Oh, that's great. It is true if the other half of the children are also males. She must have five boys. It is a trick. See, I never said the half were not boys. Do you want to talk about something else? Uh, I want to ask you some questions. Uh, questions are not as good as riddles unless the questions are riddles. But you ask and I will try to answer. Uh, what did they do? Oh, it was terrible. You know, I was just having a nap and dreaming about a lovely meadow filled with flowers and butterflies. It was wonderful, Morab. Yes, it was. Do you have dreams like that? Um, do your dreams have naked nymphs and dryads too? <laughs> no, I'll, 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 yes, but please get to what happened. You're right, Exo. Uh, well, I was woken by a dreadful noise, and I immediately turned invisible. When I saw that dreadful kobold were in the house, I thought Master Drogon would come here right away, because he's a really powerful spellcaster. And... <laughs> 
I saw them coming to the laboratory and I knew they could not get across. I thought it was going to be such fun watching them try to come from the magical circle. <gasps> I was about to appear to them and talk to them. Yes, I was, but then they stopped and you would not believe what they did. No, you would not. They threw dust on the circle. What did that do? Must have been magic dust. <laughs> Or it might not have worked. No, no, no. Stupid ugly couples walked right over the symbol of death and looted all of Master's things. You know, I didn't realize that you could use magic dust to defeat symbol of death. Well, maybe not all of this stuff. No, no, there's some stuff left. Little bits of stuff that stupid couples not think would be important or no could find. What did you do when the couples crossed the barrier? Oh, shame, 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 shame. I was so scared. I was so scared and thought they were powerful kobolds for the first to pass Master's magic. Now, Reesey, Master will never trust Reesey again. No, no, he will not. Master will re dismiss Reesey. Yeah, absolutely. Get rid of the voice. And she will have to leave and return to her home in disgrace. <gasps> Except that Master is very loving and maybe Reesey can earn back his trust by never letting anyone in ever again. Yes, 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 that's it. Reesey will be the best guard ever. Okay, so we'll ask what is in the laboratory as opposed to getting in the laboratory, otherwise they're not going to let us in. So, what is in the laboratory? Um, Reese took ma some of Master's magic things and his key and hid them. Yes, she did. <laughs> hid them from nasty, ugly kobolds in a safe place. Kobolds do not get everything. No, they did not. Hmm, Dobby. <laughs> Dobby, Master has given Dobby a sock. <laughs> But now Master is upset and Reesey is afraid that she will not be able to use the th use the things Reesey uh, saved. Oh, what is I to do, Morab? Um, I mean, we can try the persuade, but I think it auto fails. Give them to me. Uh, you want Master's magic just as the kobolds did. Reesey could give you the items that kobolds had magic powers to get past Master's ward. <gasps> what if you be kobold in disguise? <gasps> oh me, oh my, then Reesey would be giving Master's magic things to kobolds and that would be very bad. Yes, yes, yes. Testing you, that is the only way Reesey can be sure you are not a kobold. What? <laughs> Reesey will tell you riddles and if you answer true, you're smarter than a kobold. <laughs> That's racist. Give you magic for Master. Uh, ask me your riddles. Give me the items or I'll strangle you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ask me your riddles. Um, you, you answer one riddle correctly. You're ready. Yes, you did. So Reese will just give you two, because she's kind of caring. Yes, she is. Mm. Why do I get the feeling I would have been asked three riddles anyway? Because that's actually the case. A prisoner is going to be killed, I'm told by executioner that him must make one statement. If his statement be true, then him will be drowned. If his statement be false, then him will be hanged. What statement can make to confuse the executioner and not be killed at all? Now, I'm pretty sure it's I will be hanged, but um, what, what do we think? We can tell them I will be drowned, I will be hanged, I will be innocent, I am guilty, or I don't know. Yeah, hanged, yeah, yeah. I will be hanged. Yes, 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 that is the thing to say. Then the executioner cannot hang you or you told truth and she should, he should drown you. If he drowns you, then you lied and should be hanged. You'll be pretty smart. Much smarter than Kobold. Well, I mean, we do have intelligence 18. I am thinking, but Kobold turned out to be smarter than me, you thought, when them... <laughs> it doesn't help. They've got a stupid accent, and, <laughs> and the, the grammar is all over the place. When them break Master's Ward. This is a hard riddle, so you should take your time to figure it out. Yes, you should. Are you ready? Yes. There be an island which is deserted. Yes, it is. This island has four fruit trees, each with a different kind of fruit. There be w a group of wizards who visit the island each year for they like it. Yes, they do. Okay. Okay, we got that so far. Island, four fruit trees, different kind of fruit each tree. Group of wizards that goes every year because they like it. Each wizard eats two types of fruit. Jar Jar and Dobby. <laughs> oh my god, I've reached peak irritation. That's fantastic. Each eats two types of fruit but each group of two trees can only have one wizard in common which means only one wizard can eat from the apple tree and the pear tree okay so each wizard two types of fruit each group of two trees one wizard in common which means only one wizard can eat from the apple tree and the pear tree okay of these four trees with different fruits that the wizards visit each year because they like it so, what you must be telling me is, 
How many wizards belong to this group? And we've got four, six, eight, or sixteen. Yeah, I think I think I, I I can't remember how I figured it out, but I I remember the answer. I remember the answer being six, I think, but I I can't remember. Any, any anybody got any uh, got any reasoning on that or any other guesses? All right, six it is. That is very smart of you. That's uh, you use geometry, <laughs> the, the magic power of geometry. <laughs> Very, very powerful magic is geometry. You, you know that um, in this edition of D&D, there's, there's a geometer class. That I always, I, I loved the geometer class. Place the wizard around the square. <laughs> that is very smart of you to know that. That's very smart of you to know that, Excel. It took Reese a long time to figure that one out. I guess you must be who you seem to be, and I will have to trust you to help Master. Help Harry Potter. I will go and fetch the items for you from my secret hiding place. Reese hopes you will really help Master Morab. Ah, then you realize the diagonals counted. Very smart of you to know that. You take this, help Master. I worry about him much. Oh, yes, I do. Good luck be with you, Morab. You will need it. Oh, thank God I never have to talk to her again. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we got some scrolls from that. So let's let's learn learn scare because we don't know scare. Uh, we got a key for the lab and some focus crystals. Cool. Cool 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 cool. Alright. Upstairs now. Man, using... I wonder if I can rebind... The, can you rebind the controls in this? I don't think you can. I, I seem to remember not being able to. Controls. Oh, no, you can. Okay, so... Uh, what we got WASD for? Drive mode, forward run, backward, left, right. Yeah, I'm going to use click to go anywhere anyway. So let's make that W. Let's make that... Um, oh, no, let's make that A. Let's make that... D, let's make that W and make that S. And we'll do these as the up keys. Cool. Now I'll stop doing that. There we go. That's much better. More crystals upstairs and enough materials for one more to craft. Uh, you can craft a special magic item uh, or two in the, uh, in the grinder as well, from what I remember. Oh, we should summon our familiar, because there are, there are actually traps on these footlockers. I don't know if we're going to be able to spot them, but uh, ask how to possess them. So you have to right click on them, possess them, control them directly and get them to do stuff. Yeah, that's right. So, hello. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. How do you do that again? Special abilities. Crafting, wizard, possess familiar. Okay, now we're the familiar. Bash. Okay, this one's unlocked, so when finished, uh, unpossess. Okay. Take stuff. Scrolls. Irrelevant items. A book. 101 Tales of Adventure. Um, this is a storybook all about how my life got flipped turned upside down, and I'd like to take a minute to just sit right there, and I'll tell you how I became the Fresh Prince of Neverwinter Nights. Um, this is a storybook that recounts the adventures of many of Faerun's best-known heroes. Jam stains and scribbles render some of the stories almost illegible, and many of the woodcut illustrations have been enhanced with strategically placed mustaches. The best kind of enhancement. Uh, yeah, yeah, there, there is a trap, yeah. Um, I think it's Xanos' chest, right? And he, he asks you to get stuff out of it, and then he doesn't tell you about the trap, because he's a dick. 
Um, <laughs> uh, so let's use our familiar for it. Unlock. I love having a pocket rogue. Hey, we did it. Uh, I don't think we can get them to open stuff, unfortunately. We can get them to bash it, but there's no point if we get a... So, there's going to be a trap, but that's okay. We can rest to get rid of the trap. Hey, we passed the save. Huh, nice. That luck of hero is coming in handy. Wand of Acid, Potion of Aid, a Scroll of Scare, and a Scroll of Mage Armor. Cool. And then this one's locked as well, but it's not trapped. So... Uh... Uh, possess familiar. Uh, familiar lady. Go unlock that. Got it. Got it. You know, when I, I think part of the reason I didn't do very well the last playthrough I had with the wizard was I don't think I used my familiar almost at all. And that was a mistake because they're, they're very useful. Along with a summon, I don't think I really have to take anybody else along, really. As long as I have a strong enough summon. Maybe buff some folks. Uh, Misha's Footlocker. This one isn't trapped or locked. And you can make him... Ah, that's it. You can put quartz and this sword um, in the grinder in the room. Um, and it turns it into a magic sword. Um, it's like half magic. Gives it like extra damage, but n not an extra to hit. Um, which you can then sell. <laughs> yeah, this is the hard lock chest. There's magic wards around it. I don't think you ever get what's in this, right? Like, there's, there's no way to get it. Um, there are several magical wards on this chest which you cannot seem to penetrate. Oh my. But there's magic chests over here that aren't trapped. That have stuff in. Ring... Um, uh, some green stone. Now, uh, one of the things I remember about this game is um, there are some sort of loot items that are quite useful for crafting stuff, and I never remember which ones are which. Some of the gemstones are useful, but I can't remember which ones. Oh, I guess the reason to take companions is carrying capacity. I, I am gonna, I am gonna start getting overloaded if I start taking armor and stuff around. It's the chest for the plot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It probably is, honestly. Uh, yeah, so I, I can't really pick... Like, I want to sell all this stuff, and I will. Uh, but I know that there's combat outside. So I'm going to leave that stuff there for the moment, and I'll come back and pick everything up and sell it. Ooh, that's that's a good helmet, though. So let's take that. Uh, plus, plus five. Plus five to spot. Eyes of the Eagle. Always good. Chest over here. Medical supplies. Nice. Nice. We got healing kit proficiency. Got some potions of bless. Some potions of aid. Oh, we're doing pretty well on consumables, actually. Um, let's drop that. Put our potions in this slot for the moment. Um, put the scrolls in the next pot key. Uh, we can use the protection from alignment. Uh, can't use days. We can use light. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu, nothing else useful there. Should probably be casting light, actually. But that's okay. I don't think there's anything else in here. No weapons. But we'll 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 come back for weapons when we've got more carrying. When we've uh, just want to sell everything. Uh oh. Uh all right. Yep. No, that's all right, man. Um. I'm just kidding, can't run two screens without any day. Yeah, no, no, it's okay. that's okay, man. That's okay. Uh, I'll probably raid into them in a bit. Um, uh, actually, honestly, um, think about it. I think I'm going to go on a break. Uh, so uh, you head off to you head off to KNN, see how they're doing, and I'll, I'm will i going to take a break. Uh, I'll be back in, in 10, 15 minutes or so. Um, so see you guys in a bit.
And I'm back. Pardon me. Hello. Welcome back. Oh, we're playing some Neverwinter Nights today. Never Sleepy Nights. Absolutely. Um, we haven't done much, don't worry. We just built a character, reminisced about old times, and um, uh, survived the first fight somehow not not dying to uh, uh, kobolds. We didn't die to kobolds, which was good. Would have been unfortunate if we died in the first fight. We are a wizard, though. Um, we are we're very weak. We're weak and feeble. Uh, we're actually relatively tough for a wizard, but... Oh, there we go. See, put quartz and sword together and you get a magic sword that I haven't been able to identify. God damn it! Oh, come on, I've got a good enough spellcraft. Alright. And then you can make more focus crystals here. Uh, Fenelope, Aventurine, Fluspar, or Amethyst. And we need uh, quartz with that. Uh, I don't think we have any more quartz at the moment. Oh, no, we do. We do. Uh, floor spa. Um, wasn't that it? Oh, okay. Let me read that again. Two of the following gems. Right, right. Sorry. That's it. Okay, so quartz. And a low and what's the other one aventurine copper greenstone aventurine there we go focus crystal magic magic all right cool let's go downstairs re-prepare our spells and then venture outwards into the wide wide world uh we only need 500 xp to get the next level so the more levels we have, the more D4 hit dice we have, and the more D4 hit dice we have, the more survivable we are. Okay. Uh, so. Spellbook. Let's re-prepare these goddamn spells. The game always starts you with awful spells. I don't know why. <laughs> Um, even we even pick them, but it still prepares terrible ones. Okay, I think we prepare uh, two color sprays and mage armor, at least to start off with. I don't think we need protection from alignment right now. Oh no, we certainly need, we need summon creature. So, color spray, mage armor, summon creature, and we'll re we'll rest after each fight. And if our summoned creature and a knockout spell don't do it, then we're fucked. <laughs> uh, and we'll prepare uh, light, resistance, and which is which of these is the most damaging? That's 1d3. That's 1d3, but that's not a, uh, a spell attack roll, I don't think. Whereas this one... Uh, oh no, they all... I think they all have attack rolls. That one's got longer damage, but it does slightly... Ray of Frost does slightly more damage. So we'll do Ray of Frost by throwing a dagger at them. Wow. Wizardry. Magic wizardry. We can throw an ice dagger at people. Except we can't even do that. Don't even have that spell. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, rest. It's okay. We have a pixie. And we have a badger. And that's all we need. Okay, so we'll put Color Spray there, put Mage Armor here, we'll put Summon Creature here, and we'll empty these slots because I don't need these on my quick bar. Um, and got these, we've got that there, we've got the potions in there. Do we need anything else on our quick bar? Maybe, maybe a scroll? Oh, have we not already learned Scare? Learn Scare! Oh, we've already learned Scare, okay. So we got a scroll scare. Um, we should probably put the healers kits on our bar. Wand of acid, maybe. <laughs> Seven uses of acid splash. Very strong. Very strong. Equip, equip the swag helm, the eagle helm. Give us plus five spot. It's pretty good. Um, put the scroll of protection from alignment on our hot bar. We might use that. 
Yeah, that's good. We can we can use those other items if we need to. Um, but yeah, let's go. Let's do it. And before we go outside, we're going to do the other thing we should do, which is cast Mage Armor. And also cast Summon Creature, for that matter. There's, there's no reason not to. <laughs> they both last all day. Okay, we've got a slightly better AC now. Our AC's 15. 15's alright. It's alright. It's not, not the worst. Could be better. But it's not the worst. Okay. Oh no! Oh no! Stop it! Silly kobold! Uh, cosplay. There we go. <laughs> oh my god, chat! <laughs> you killed someone! <laughs> oh, chat kills one. Okay, so, so someone someone keep chat keep track of how many things the pixie fucking kills. <laughs> oh, that's great. I love it. I love it. Rest. Recast. So, one of the problems with wizards in this edition, um, well, problem isn't quite the right word. Um, one of the quirks of wizards in this edition um, is uh, they cast a lot, they have a lot of prep time. If they're prepared for something, even more so than in other editions, they can do almost anything. But they do have to sort of set themselves up. Um, because otherwise, well, otherwise it can be very dangerous. Also, I'm... Oh. Your end draws nigh. I've got to work out if the badger... Can I command the badger? Uh, yes, I can. Okay, I, I've got to start commanding the badger to attack nearest. Oh, wow, the... Oh, my God, chat killed... Chat... Chat kills... Two... Uh, chat, chat's murdering the shit out of these guys. Like, that's surprisingly strong. I mean, you are a pixie. You've got a very high AC. Uh, I, I'm actually going to uh, equip the crossbow, though, rather than the dagger, I've realized. Because if I shoot something, the badger will instantly attack it. Whereas if I don't, it won't. So, uh, like, for instance, this rat. Oh no! Don't kill me! Don't do it! There we go. Got, at this level, we just gotta wait for the badger to murder everything. <laughs> uh, anything around here? We should also probably be walking around in detect mode, but I don't think there are any secrets around here, and I, I actually can't be bothered, because um, it slows you to a crawl, and uh, that ain't what I'm about. That ain't what I'm about. All right, let's go. So this is Hilltop. Lovely pixelated Hilltop. It's a wonderful place with wonderful ox and dog with no name. <laughs> you can actually talk to them. Um, if, you're, if you're a druid or a ranger and you have wild empathy, you can actually talk to them, which is pretty cool. Um, it's a function that uh, divinity has um, but, uh, the, uh, other similar games don't tend to, and I do like the fact that you can. Uh, okay, so kobolds have gone into the barn. That's okay, we got a color spray with their name on. Let's go get them. Ha! Nope. Oh my god, I think we hit. Nope, we missed. <laughs> so the great thing about the badger at this level is the ba it's a dire badger and it has rage, um, which means it's a surprisingly good summon. Like it will probably murder most things, considerably better than a companion. Will. And it doesn't sap our XP, so we will level slightly faster than if we had a companion around, which is pretty nice, honestly. Oh my god, they killed the cow! God damn kobolds. Like, not all of them are bad, but, uh, these ones. These ones are bad. They killed a... What'd you kill a cow for? God damn it, kobolds. Poor cow. They didn't, even, didn't leave any loot either, which is annoying. Wow, the, the badger didn't even put a... Didn't even have a scratch. <laughs> uh, kobold slayer badger. Sl slayer of kobolds. Eater of kobolds. Oh no. 
Uh, so let's hope the uh, hope the badger doesn't eat people. Probably does though. It's a very angry badger. Like, look 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 at this honey badger. Look at this big boy. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Reverb. <laughs> that's a badger call, guys. Just remember, that's what badgers sound like, right there. Just that. <laughs> Doesn't sound like a badger. <laughs> Hello, Gardner. Oh, you be careful, Morab. There's no way to be sure all the kobolds are gone and more could arrive. Oh, well, that's not good. Not ideal. Uh, okay, so this is a smithy. That's the herbalist, right? We gotta go see the herbalist. So. Hello, sir. Oi! Wipe your feet before you come in. Wow. Rude. Hey, dude. Hey, what? Hey, what? Ah, Morab, is it? Uh, good to see you. It's good to see you're unharmed. A nasty business with these kobolds. I hope that Master Drogon's well also. Well, that's actually why I'm here. He's been poisoned. Of course, I'll help if I can. What is it I can do? <laughs> you can you can donate some coin. The cure is very expensive. <laughs> Um, he needs a bunch of your equipment, free of charge, I assume. Oh, I need some herbs. Mmm, I do happen to have some tresem tongue and charcoal on me. Yeah, take them. No charge, of course. As for helmthorn berries, you could try asking Mara at the tavern if she still has some. I sold them the last of my stock a week ago. I'll try that, thanks. Nothing else you can do for you. Uh, you seen any other kobolds? There are plenty outside my door just long ago. I... Help the guards to fight them off before they were driven off. Other than those, I only know of a group that ran down from the north. I understand they left the hilltop by the gate. <laughs> As opposed to over the walls. <laughs> Hopefully they don't come back. I've never seen kobolds so aggressive. They all had this weird magical poison that was the bane of people with class levels, specifically. Uh, what kind of things do you sell here? Mostly herbs and other things that come from nature. I got plenty of the dank kush if that's what you want. Plus goods that are useful to druids like myself. Uh, sure. Let's see what you got. Oh, his reaction is favorable. That's nice. Druid, 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 druid. He wasn't lying. That's all druid stuff. That's druid stuff. Scrolls. Um. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So this isn't really the wizard guy. Um. There is, uh, there is a guy, uh, there's a red wizard that we can potentially get into Hilltop, um, which we might do just because he has wizard loot, but I don't remember him having anything particularly useful aside from scrolls, but, um, pair up to wisdom, healing kits, the healing kits will be useful if we need to. Oh, I should probably sell this stuff to him, actually. Hey, what? Uh, is he at all better? No. Not yet. Um, do uh, still favorable. Good, good, good. Okay, so sell. Uh, keep the torch because we might need it. Um, I don't think we need any. Like you can use the meat if you carry it all the way to the end of the game. You can use the meat on stuff, but I don't think we need it for anything. Oh fuck! Hang on. Um, oh, there's something you can do with the bottle. What is it? Can you make a potion of bark skin or something? Uh, Fenbury bushes and empty bottles uh, make bark skin. Okay, cool. So we want to save the bottles and we want to save green spores and quartz. Okay, cool. All right, so get that bottle back actually. <laughs> Sell everything else. Okay, don't need garlic. Don't need fish. Uh, don't need belladonna. Don't need meat. Uh, we need the tresem tongue and the pieces of charcoal. Um, keep the dagger just in case. Uh, can't sell the tinnerman until we've identified it. Uh, sell this book of adventure. Um, <laughs> uh, Slard's tongue, nice. Keep the bottle. Sell, sell, sell. 
prayers to Mistra. Don't definitely don't need any, don't need any of those. Um, uh, how much does this sell for? Probably not much. Don't need seven castings of Acid Splash. For sure. Need to get this ID'd, really. We got enough money? Oh, uh, there we go. And now we can sell it. Hey, there we go. We've got first our, th our first 1,000 gold. Well worth it. Pity we couldn't ID automatically, but... Pff, should probably sort my inventory. Who? Ah, well. That'd be fine. Okay. Uh, I don't think we need to talk to the smith yet. We don't need to go in there yet. Uh, eh, fuck it. Let's talk to the smith. Do the hilltop thing. Get that quest to clear the guy out. Hello, Fiona. Hail and well met. Ah, one of Drogon's students. Always nice to see your young face in here. I'm a gnome. I'm probably hundreds of years old. Now which one are you again? I'm kidding, Morab. Do not get such a sour face. Ow. The rudeness. I have not forgotten you. Um, um, uh, I am not as old as all that. Now, are you here to buy something or just for a visit? I would like to see some goods. I hope you do not mean, I hope you mean my inventory and not my massive bosom. Ha ha. Sorry, old jokes are the best. She, she considers her, her, her massive bosom, her, her inventory. Okay. Much as reaction is unfavorable. Well, well, shit. I don't think she has anything we want anyway. Um, if we were a martial character, we might want to buy the super great sword that she has, the Blade of Cholt, with poison on hit. Um, but we we don't because we're not. So amulet of natural armor isn't too bad a pick. Uh, but we get we'll get one so fast. That's that's the problem with buying some of this stuff is we we get a load of this stuff really quickly anyway. So it feels a bit useless to buy it. Like any RPG, I suppose. Okay. So let's go in here. Community hall. Oh, can we talk to the guy, the ill martyr guy, but no one cares about him? Uh, let's go talk to the mayor. Oi, what can I get ya? There's nobody who understands me. Except for Hanaya. She's so helpful, like a daughter to me. Yes, sir. Oh, thank you, sir. Maybe you should get a little rest. Nonsense! My people need me. That's right, Mayor Verant Shuttlescomb. Wow, this guy. He's uh, he's great. And I, well, you seem sane. Oh wow, you have a way higher voice than I thought. Well, hello there. Morab, it is good to see you. I was about to send someone down to check on everyone at Master Drogon's. I am afraid events are far out of hand out around here. Hanaya! <laughs> Did I ever <laughs> tell you how helpful you are? <laughs> You're the best, Hanaya. Simply the best. Simply the best. Um, thank you, sir. You are a very good boss, too. Usually. Is he drunk? I found the mayor this way in his home after the kobold attack. He was hiding in his cellar with two empty wine bottles beside him. I think the stress of the attack was simply too much for him and he lost control. I just hope he will be better when he so sobers up. I know it frightened me. Luckily I was here and there were enough local farmers and townsmen to hold the kobolds off. They mostly just ran past when they saw how many were in here. Is everyone alright at the school? Uh, Master Jorgen's been poisoned, unfortunately. Not Master Drogon. Oh, I can hardly afford to lose him. He has, like, multiple class levels and everything. I was desperately hoping you could help me deal with all of the problems, like, with the click of his finger. Just a single mass heal uh, that could have cropped up after the attack. Uh, I suppose it sounds aw awfully selfish of me, but I've only been here a short time, and now the mayor is completely useless. And I has been like a daughter to me. I'll tell you more. No, better than a daughter. Oh, Marab, good to see you. When did you get here? Oh, Marab, what do I do? I am here to help you. Oh, thank goodness you are still well, Marab. I know Master Drogon holds you in high esteem and you have always been kind to me since I came to Hilltop. 
The biggest problem right now is with Piper. Small surprise there. He has always claimed to have prophetic abilities. What? <laughs> but now our people are beginning to listen. A couple of days ago, Piper claimed that death was coming in the dark and that only the Chosen would survive. An old farmer, Hall Halstrom, called him an idiot and Piper claimed Hall would be dead within the week. Uh, let me guess. He was killed by the kobolds. Hall's body was found near the edge of the village with his throat slit so deep his head was barely attached to his body. Hmm, that doesn't sound like a kobold. Uh, Piper has a number of people convinced that the kobolds are just messengers for a new powerful god. I stopped listening to him at that point. Piper is spreading panic and chaos in our village, something we can ill afford if we are to rebuild and possibly fortify ourselves. We already have a wall, but... Uh, sure, I'll speak to him for you. Would you really? That would be such a relief. I'm not asking you hurt him or anything like that, but if you just stop or go away, it would make my job much simpler. Is there anything else I can do to help you? Uh, I need some herbs. Uh, you must speak to Fargan. Oh, I've already talked to him. I could use a little encouragement. At the risk of sounding a little brazen, Morab, if we get through these days and things return to normal, I will promise you a night of encouragement you will never forget. Wow. Damn. Nice. <laughs> um, cool. We, we, we did it. <laughs> We, 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 got, we got the girl. But with all the problems we face right now, there is little else I can focus on. Certainly not that. <laughs> and now, is there anything else I can do for you? That is all. Goodbye. Oh, you can tell this game was made for nerds by nerds. She's like, uh, yes. Yes. Um, uh, well, once, once you've done solving all my problems, I will reward you with the sex times. And it's so like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, you can heal these guys and shift your alignment towards good. Something I, I never knew until recently, but you actually can. And, like, it's kind of cool that you can do it. Um, for instance, observe. Uh, if we put this healer kit here and then do that and then target them instead of us, uh, we can heal them. Um, but we're not going to because we want to heal the halflings instead. Um, because that will actually get us a reward. <laughs> because we're true neutral, damn it. Uh, we can also unlock these chests. I think it's stealing if we do. Uh, let's find out. Let's uh, just close that door a second. Oh, we can't, you can't. Okay. Uh, don't don't mind me. Just possessing my familiar over here, and getting them to unlock all your belongings. Oh, no. oh wow, that's a, such a great voice. Don't don't even worry about it. Just don't eat. Oh, open lock failure. No. Uh, nine plus eleven twenty versus DC twenty two. Okay, so we can get it. We just roll bad. Apparently, we can't take ten on this. <laughs> <laughs> your actions have shifted your alignment one point towards chaotic. You've been stripped of your title as benefactor. <gasps> oh, no. Well, we're going chaotic anyway, guys, it seems. <laughs> Alright, we unlock that one. Another point towards chaotic. I'm just unlocking all the chests, and it's like, you're so chaotic, Morab, for unlocking them but not stealing anything. Uh, oh my god, this shifts our alignment so much. <laughs> Very odd. Odd interactions abound. Um, but yeah, so unpossess, and now we can open them and steal all the stuff. Oh wow, that's good loot. Huh. Man, I would have done this before if I'd known that uh, it would actually get, like, reasonable loot. Magic items and potions and stuff. Cool. Yoink! And two gold pieces. Worth it! <laughs> Completely worth it. 100%. Uh, okay. Um, so, Piper and Hilltop Guy. Okay, let's see if we can get Piper to leave. I don't think there's anything we can do to buff ourselves for this, so... What? 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 Oh! oh! And in, the, and in the eighth hour of the third night, death came in the dark and left a swathe of unbelievers to rot on the ground. 
It was a message, a portent of the new god that comes to the land. I don't want to die. I shall follow this new god. What is his name? That has not yet been revealed to me. But follow me and do as I say, and the god who arises shall look upon you favorably. What lies you spread? I'll listen to no more your foolishness, Piper. Hey, damnation be upon your head, fool woman. You will be dead within the week. This much the new god has shown me. Even you, you, Morab, will have to choose. Will you doom yourself and die like Farmer Hall? Or will you repent of your ways and follow me? I need to speak to you in private. There is nothing that godless old fool could have to say to me that my followers cannot also hear. Go on then, make your threats. Do not forget the fate of those who mock me. Forget not the fate of the death of Hal Hallstrom. Push me, shove me, kick me, beat me, I shall rise again. Stronger than ever. I, I was born in the shadow. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> uh, to proclaim the rising of a new god, try to drive the truth from this village at the peril of your own soul. I think you've done all you can for Hilltop. Others need to be warned. You think you could be rid of me so easily? The prophet of the new god sees through your tricks. Be gone, foul tempter! I think you've been confused. Uh, the kobolds were thieves. Uh, <laughs> my god, this guy. Uh, don't you think the local priest would know if there was a new god? The new god rises more powerful! <laughs> the one true god! Oh my god. Yes, your words which were meant to hinder me have helped. You've made many predictions in the past that weren't true. Uh, wow, they're all, they're all just, they're all just eating it up. Uh, there's need for you in this village, but you're about all wrong. What would you know of the right way or the wrong way to help the village? What could I possibly do to help this village? You've been trained, you have weapons, all I have is my prophecies. Uh, what if I helped you so you could protect the town? Do not know. If I had my old sword and the guards would train me, then I'd become a guard too. But to abandon the new guard, but if I could have my old sword... Yes, my shiny old sword, which I pawned to the smith. I missed my dear old sword. Then I could murder people instead with a sword instead of a knife. Oh my god, this is such a good quest. Then people would respect me like a real hero. I don't have my sword. Oh, and until I have my sword, my weapon must be the new god. Yes, the new god comes and with a shiny new sword. If I get your sword back, will you stop ranting about the new god? I suppose I could just talk to myself about him if that would help. You have to bring me my sword! Spread the new uh, words of the new god! It is upon us! Oh, Alright, let's... Let's go get his sword. Oh, this game. Hail and well met. Piper said he sold you his sword. That's true. Came in one day, looking so thin and hungry, took pity on him and bought his useless old weapon. Uh, would have been embarrassment. Could I have it? It was charity that drove me to buy the poor old sword in the first place. I see no reason to recoup my losses. You may have it. Thanks. Uh, bye. Let's go find the dude and give him his sword back. What? What's the betting he wants what? us to do something what? else? What? He oh. comes, I tell no. you! <laughs> Darkness. I'm sorry, I followed the dark path. I have committed many indiscretions. I have had impure thoughts. Oh no. He sees the corruption in your body, but the innocent. Oh my god. Give him the sword. That's my beautiful sword. Now I can become a guard and save the village, and the new god will be. All uh, right, my promise. That's right. No new god. Don't worry, he will not be showing up in two weeks, five hours, and 23 minutes to kill everyone. Go about your business. Nothing to see here. Uh oh. <laughs> Two weeks, five hours, and 23 seconds, huh? Oh, oh no. What about the prophecies? Yes, yes, all made up. By now, run along. You're lucky you got that sword or you'd be joining your fake god. Oh my god. Hmm. I get the distinct feeling that this guy uh, might actually be talking about something that's real. 
And that is, um, it's a little worrying. I won't lie. But, uh, but we did the job. So that's okay. Well, hello there. Pipe is no longer a problem. Hey, we got a reward. Oh, wow, got quite a bit of gold. Nice. And some XP. Nice. Okay, so just go to the inn and we'll level up. I reckon that that's probably where we'll leave it, folks, for today. Just rest, recast our spells, go deal with some kobolds, and then call it there. Mage armor. Summon. Let's see if we can quick save. Oh, no, no. What? Oh, crap. Oh, F5 is potion of cure light wounds. Oh, of course it is, because it's on the F bar. <laughs> I tried to quick save. <laughs> okay. Um, Greetings and well met. Wow, that's not the voice I expected you to have. Uh, youngster, old town's been attacked. Sure, sure. Yep, nothing useful. Okay, let's go deal with this problem. Oi, what can I get ya? I need a her. Do you need some help? Certainly do. Um, have you tried talking with them? I'll see what I can do. Okay. Hello? Yep! Who you be? We want no more fight! Yep, yep! You let us go! Yep, or we kills the cook woman! You hear that? You let us go! We no fight, we take cook, cook woman with us! We smarts! You not tricks us! Okay, um. Take me as a hostage instead. Who not tries to trick us? You be much more important, much better hostage! We take! Uh, fuck it. Sure. Goodbye, creatures. <laughs> Dismiss all my summons, oh no. How you be our hostage? Uh, what we do? You not know, maybe it cooks! Cooks now! Look, you can leave now. Just go and no one will hurt you. We leaves, we takes you with us, you be hostage! Maybe we just goes. He maybe not be, maybe not be so good hostage. He's right. Yep. Okay's, we goes. But you know tricks us. We be smart. Such smart kobolds. I love how he uses sound burst to destroy the barrier. <laughs> Alright, let's let's let them hopefully follow all of their amazing AI pathing and run away. Which should hope Hey, that leveled us. Alright. And with that level up, in mind. Um, I reckon I'm gonna see if KNN is still going. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, and we might raid them. Why not? We haven't raided them in a while. See who's going. Uh, yeah, yeah, they are. Okay, we we're gonna raid. Let's just uh, check in. Yeah, we get, we're gonna we're gonna raid Chaotic Night Network. Why not? Uh, thank you for watching, everybody. Um. Uh, And then I'm gonna go get some dinner, and then after we've, uh, after I've done that, uh, later on, Pathfinder War for the Crown, um, uh, or in, uh, in the flat, uh, at the old, at the normal time. Uh, yeah, woohoo! <laughs> hey, Magna Mama. Rating. Hope you had a good stream, buddy. You were doing some Neverwinter Nights, it looks like. Magna Mama, how you doing? <laughs> 